Chapter 1561 Killing Blood Kill 1 Translator Born to be Boom That translucent figure was blown apart by Long Chen's attack. However, once it shattered, people realized it was just a fake. Long Chen seemed to have realized it was a fake a while ago and wasn't surprised at all. His Yuan spirit shone brighter, and the flames in the sky rapidly condensed. Raging Flame Prison Countless flame chains formed a huge net that covered a huge space. A muffled sound came from a certain region. Long Chen snorted and slashed his saber there. Now where are you going to hide? A sharp sword appeared in the space Long Chen slashed, blocking his saber. Blood Kill One's figure appeared. Blood Kill One coughed up a mouthful of blood and flew back. He was actually unable to receive a single blow from Long Chen. Blood Kill One couldn't help being shocked. He had known that Long Chen was powerful, too powerful for him to block his attacks. However, he had used a magical art when his sword had clashed with his saber, weakening the power of his saber 18 times. If he used this move on anyone else, their power would be reduced to less than a tenth, and he would just have to receive that tiny portion. However, Long Chen's power was incomparably concentrated making it so Blood Kill 1 could only reduce his power by about 50%. The remaining force caused him to cough up blood, and his sword was damaged. His divine item now had a large nick in it. Originally, Blood Kill 1 hadn't planned on participating in this battle. The Dragon Slaughtering Convention had its own goals, and it was being controlled by Pill Valley. Pill Valley, the Shwen Beasts, and the Corrupt Path had become the dominating forces behind the convention. As for the Bloodkill Hall, they had been invited, but Pill Valley had made its intentions clear to them. This matter would be led by Pill Valley. Others could participate, but they had to listen to orders. So in the end, the Bloodkill Hall had sent Bloodkill 1 and not that mysterious expert. Bloodkill 1 was only sent as a formality. Bloodkill 1 was very clear on that. He was only here to show his face and show that the Bloodkill Hall's people had come. This was to give face to Pill Valley. If the Bloodkill Hall really cared about this convention, they wouldn't have sent Bloodkill One but that terrifying girl instead. Bloodkill One had thought he would just be a spectator and wouldn't even have a chance to fight. However, just now, Yan Weishan had sent him a secret message to cooperate with the three of them and sneak attack Long Chen. Yan Weishan knew that Bloodkill One wasn't as strong as the three of them in ordinary combat but his assassination arts were extremely terrifying. With the three of them drawing Long Chen's attention, there was a high chance blood kill one could kill or at least heavily injure Long Chen in one attack. However, no one had expected that as soon as blood kill one snuck his way onto the battlefield, before he could attack, he was noticed by Long Chen. It was like Long Chen had long since prepared a trap for him and had simply been waiting. They didn't know that Long Chen's nine-star hegemon body art had fully memorized the air of the Bloodkill Hall's assassins. Bloodkill One's assassination arts might be marvelous, and he might have a divine item to mask his presence, but he wasn't able to trick the senses of the nine-star hegemon body art. As soon as he had tried to sneak his way over to him, Long Chen had sensed him. Long Chen had waited until he was close enough to launch an attack. However, Bloodkill One was truly amazing. Long Chen had clearly landed an attack on him, but he had used some kind of technique to switch himself out with a fake and dodge his first attack. Regretfully, Long Chen had already been prepared for him. He was now imprisoned in a cage of flames. Save him. Yan Weishan's expression changed. He hadn't expected Long Chen to be so sly as to have prepared a trap for Blood Kill One. In this scenario, Blood Kill One wouldn't be able to last for long before being killed. After all, he hadn't awakened his manifestation. Yan Weishan was the first to charge out, his golden furnace smashing onto Long Chen's flame prison, wanting to destroy it. However, the flame prison was like cotton. His attack made the prison cave in, but it didn't break. At this moment, Long Chen was pressing on toward Bloodkill One. Bloodkill One had summoned his manifestation and his Yuan spirit was unleashing powerful magical arts that filled the space around him with sword light. However, he was repeatedly forced back by Long Chen and was hacking up blood. It went without saying that Blood Kill One was very powerful. Even under Long Chen's torrential attacks, he managed to last three exchanges. However, 
He was like a candle flickering in the wind and might be extinguished at any moment. Long Chen was like a ferocious beast, while the former was just a slightly stronger sheep. Focus all our attacks on one spot, shouted Yan Weishan at the other two. He could already tell that Long Chen was too powerful. With the three of them joining hands, even if they could defeat him, they wouldn't be able to kill him. If Long Chen wanted to run, they wouldn't be able to stop him. If they lost a powerful helper like Blood Kill One, this dragon slaughtering convention would most likely end up being a joke. Hu Ziaolin's bone claw, Jin Mingwei's blood gourd, and Yan Weishan's golden furnace all shrank to just three meters in size. The three divine items began to shine, joining together to smash into Long Chen's raging flame prison. With the three of them concentrating all their power on one tiny spot, they knew that despite the flame prison's flexibility and tenacity, they would still be able to at least create a large hole in it. Breaking just a portion of a magical art should be enough to cause the rest of it to weaken and even crumble. Boom. The three of their divine items pierced Long Chen's flame prison, delighting them. But their smiles quickly vanished. The instant that they broke through Long Chen's flame prison, Long Chen sent Blood Kill One flying toward their three divine items. Everything had been calculated perfectly. Boom. The three divine items emitted their divine power, instantly killing Blood Kill One let alone his Yuan spirit, not even the slightest speck of him remained. How vicious. How dare you kill him just because you didn't want to split the glory. Eat my saber Long Chen roared as if they had killed an old friend of his. Jin Mingwei, Hu Shaolin, and Yan Weishan almost coughed up blood from anger. Long Chen was actually trying to pin the blame on them for blood kill one's death. The thing that infuriated them the most was that their divine items had already flown out and they had no time to call them back. They had to face Long Chen's attack without them. Boom. The three of them were blown far into the distance by Long Chen's saber. Yan Weishan coughed up a mouthful of blood as he was a flame cultivator. Where'd he go? The three of them called back their divine items but suddenly found that Long Chen had vanished. Suddenly, startled cries rang out in the distance. A black saber image slashed through the experts that had once attacked the dragon blood legion. Countless experts were blown to bits. The Blood Kill Hall's experts that had come with Blood Kill One were all paid particular attention. Dragon Blood Legion, other than the neutral camp's people, slaughter them all. Following Long Chen's orders, the Dragon Blood warriors roared ferociously and raised their weapons. Boss, I've been waiting for you to say that. Guo Ran was the fastest to reach his enemies with wings appearing on his armor. Didn't you want to kill us just now? Let's see who kills who. The dragon blood warriors crashed down on their enemies like a tsunami. A huge battle erupted. Countless wooden stakes flew out of the ground. Even faster than Guo Ran. Chu Yao's attack landed first. Chu Yao's goal was clear. She targeted the Empyreans as she was the only Empyrean in the dragon blood legion. She immediately trapped five Empyreans and began to attack them. Guo Ran slashed his saber at the Empyrean who had fought against him at the beginning. Suddenly, his chest plate opened. Dozens of needles shot out, piercing holes in the Empyrean's body. The Empyrean didn't even have time to recover from his shock when Guo Ran landed a kick that blew up his lower body. Did you think your daddy Guo only had that little ability? Fool. I have plenty of peerless techniques. Sneered Guo Ran. This Empyrean had fought against Guo Ran for hours and had naturally assumed that he had managed to probe most of Guo Ran's abilities. He hadn't expected Guo Ran to actually be so sinister. Die. Guo Ran slashed his saber down again as his opponent only had half his upper body left. The poor Empyrean instinctively raised his divine item, which only resulted in the rest of his body exploding. A fist-sized figure of light hastily fled. However, his Yuan spirit hadn't gotten far when Sword Chi crashed down, turning it to dust. What the? You Zifeng, you snatched my prey, cried out Guo Ran. Next time you can take mine, said Yu Zifeng indifferently. He was already attacking another Empyrean. Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, Tang Wanur, Gu Yang, and Meng Qi were all attacking. Each of them was fighting a powerful Empyrean. Meng Qi was surrounded by sword light that formed a blooming lotus. She had a total of 999 flying swords. These were soul items Guo Ran had poured his blood, sweat, and tears into to forge. 
The person Guo Ran worshipped the most was Long Chen. However, the one he was most grateful for had recently changed to be Meng Qi. If it hadn't been for Meng Qi's help, there was no way he would have had enough soul energy to nourish his armor considering it was formed of multiple ancestral items. In order to thank Meng Qi, Guo Ran had spent a huge amount of time and energy to create these 999 flying swords. Soul gold had been smelted into them, allowing them to be controlled easily by Meng Qi's spiritual strength. With Meng Qi's powerful spiritual strength, these soul items formed a terrifying formation that made her enemies feel like they were surrounded by 999 experts. Her opponent was forced back over and over again. His heavenly Tao energy might be able to suppress Meng Qi's heavenly Tao energy, but it wasn't able to suppress her soul energy. Long Chen didn't glance at the battle after his attack and orders. He immediately returned back to his own battlefield. His attack, kills, orders, and return were all done in an instant. Just as Yan Weishan and the others were charging over, Long Chen received them midway, not allowing them to interfere with the battle. Chapter 1562 The Dragonblood Legion Slaughters Translator Born to be the one that Long Chen had been most worried about hadn't been Yan Weishan. Hu Shaolin, or Jin Mingwei. No, the one he had been most worried about was Bloodkill One. If Bloodkill One didn't die, he wouldn't dare to allow the Dragonblood Legion to fight. Once a battle started, Bloodkill One and his assassins could launch sneak attacks and bring the Dragonblood Legion great pain. Perhaps only Yu Zifeng, Guo Ran, and Chu Yao would be able to stop their assassinations. The others would be in danger. That was why even during that intense fight, he had kept some of his attention on Bloodkill One. He was the greatest danger. As soon as Bloodkill One had died to his trap, he had taken advantage of everyone's shock to slaughter the rest of the Bloodkill Hall's experts. Now that the Bloodkill Hall's people were dead, the Dragonblood Legion would be safe. And only then did Long Chen issue the order to kill. Everyone, don't panic. They're only 10,000 people. We have 10 times their number, shouted someone to raise morale. They truly did have 10 times the Dragonblood Legion's members. Furthermore, many of them were rank 9 Celestials. On the surface, the power difference between them was stark. Others immediately began to echo what that person had said and attacked the Dragonblood Warriors. Sword Chi swept through the air. Saber images filled the sky. All kinds of magical arts and battle skills clashed. Boom. Long Chen slashed Yan Weishan's Golden Furnace and both sides were forced back. Yan Weishan sneered. How foolish. Are you really in such a hurry to see your subordinates die? It had to be known that the people he had gathered were the elites amongst the elites from Pill Valley, the corrupt path, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, and the martial heaven alliance. Long Chen actually ordered his 10,000 people to attack these elites that outnumbered them 10 to 1? To him, that was the peak of folly. You're the fool. Did you really think the Dragonblood Legion had revealed all its power before sneered Long Chen? Evil Moon swung through the air as he met all three of their attacks. He wasn't at a disadvantage at all. Although the two sides had already clashed and it had seemed like the Dragonblood Legion was in danger, that was because they had been fighting to stall for time. They hadn't unleashed all their power to avoid causing their opponents to be wary. Now, it was different. Long Chen had arrived. They could fight without any misjivings or hiding anything. Each of the Dragonblood warriors was shining as the runes on their armor activated. Their swords immediately glowed with a sharp light. A rank 9 celestial had just stabbed his spear at an ordinary Dragonblood warrior's chest. However, that Dragonblood warrior didn't even look at him as he slashed his sword at his opponent's head. As a result, that person's head exploded, while the Dragonblood warrior merely coughed up a mouthful of blood. What the fuck? Their armor and weapons are all ancestral items, cried someone. Ordinary rank 9 celestials would at most have a single ancestral item, while some people didn't have any, but every member of the Dragonblood Legion had two. Their ancestral items are strange. They're so strong. They, they have to be top grade ancestral items. Pfft. One person cried out a warning just as he was killed by a Dragonblood warrior, even though he died. His warning was heeded by everyone. The armor and weapons in the Dragonblood Warrior's hands were no ordinary ancestral items. 
What they didn't realize was that these ancestral items were not just top grade. They were first generation ancestral items. The item spirits of these ancestral were all fully loyal to their masters, which was what allowed them to unleash such immense power. Impossible. How can they have so many top grade ancestral items? Raged someone. Ancestral items weren't that rare. Ordinary sects would all have one or two of them to maintain their karmic luck. However, it wasn't as if they were cabbages just sprouting out of the ground. Furthermore, not only did they have top grade ancestral items, but each dragon blood warrior had two. That made their opponents crazy with envy. Kill them and their ancestral items will be ours. Cried someone greedily. However, greed oftentimes led to death. That person was killed not long after crying out. What terrifying killing arts. In the distance, the neutral camp's experts were all shocked. They found that each of the dragon blood warrior's attacks was refined and sharp. Their fighting style was shocking, as they continuously exchanged injury for injury or even suicidal moves. Despite that, the dragon blood warrior's expressions were calm. There was no anger. They were simply calm and indifferent. A rank 8 celestial of the dragon blood legion killed a rank 9 celestial without batting an eye. It was simply natural, as if this was an incredibly minor thing. Witnessing this made other people's hair stand on end. If Yu Zifeng, Meng Qi, and Chu Yao's power was terrifying, then the display of these ordinary dragon blood warriors was horrifying. They are true experts who have gone through the tempering of blood and fire, sighed someone. Everyone here was an expert, a genius, but the display of the dragon blood warriors gave them chills. At this time, Chu Yao, Meng Qi, Tang Wanur, Guo Ran, Song Mingyuan, Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, and Gu Yang had tied down all the Empyreans. This had become a true battle of soldiers against soldiers, generals against generals. However, in just the first clash, a mass of experts had been slain by the Dragon Blood Legion. It was just that the number disparity between the two sides was so immense that it didn't seem like much. Blood soaked the land. Translucent figures occasionally flew through the air. Those were the fleeing Yuan spirits whose physical bodies had been destroyed. Ordinary experts didn't have very powerful Yuan spirits. They weren't as condensed as the Yuan spirits of Empyreans. Some of them were killed just by random shock waves. The Dragon Blood Legion's ferocity caught everyone off guard. Yan Weishan's expression immediately became unsightly. He hadn't expected the Dragon Blood Legion to be equipped to such a level. It had to be known that even with Pill Valley's financial power, gathering over 20,000 ancestral items could not be done in a short time. This completely surpassed his prediction. However, he trusted in his side's power. After all, they had so many people. Which one of them didn't have trump cards? Suppressing the Dragon Blood Legion would just be a matter of time. As they fought Long Chen, they saw blood spurting from his hand with every exchange. They felt like Long Chen wouldn't be able to last much longer. However, even after all this time, his aura hadn't changed in the slightest. There were no signs of it starting to fall. They were in a stalemate. The four of them crazily fought in the sky, while the Dragon Blood Legion was slaughtering their enemies below. Blood dyed the land. There were severed limbs and broken weapon fragments scattered throughout the area. This was an incredibly bitter battle. The neutral camp's experts all stared with fright and shock. The Dragon Blood Legion seemed to be a group of bloodthirsty magical beasts tearing through these experts. Zi Yan watched. She didn't say a word nor express any opinion. It was like she was just a spectator. In the end, she sighed. Perhaps I shouldn't have come. If you didn't come, Master wouldn't be happy. You will have to face your fate sooner or later, said Yu Tong. The slaughter continued on the battlefield. The battle of the Empyreans was still undecided, but the Dragon Blood Legion's killing power was too great. In just a short incense sticks worth of time, over 10,000 experts had fallen, while there was not even a single casualty amongst the Dragon Blood Legion. That was thanks to the 50 wood cultivators amongst the Dragon Blood Legion. Anytime someone was injured, they would immediately wave their staves and heal them in an instant. Furthermore, their armor was protecting their vitals. They wouldn't give their opponents any chance to inflict mortal injuries on them. The opposing experts were all infuriated. They tried to charge through the Dragon Blood Legion to kill the wood cultivators. 
but they were all slaughtered midway. The wood cultivators were the greatest assurance for the Dragonblood warriors' lives. Long Chen had naturally anticipated that their enemies would target them, so the formation they were in was created with over ten barriers between them and their enemies. It could be said that if anyone wanted to kill the wood cultivators, they would have to completely destroy the Dragonblood Legion's formation. However, if someone focused on breaking their formation, they would be unable to ambush the wood cultivators. Quite a few experts tried without succeeding. They all died to the Dragonblood Legion's sharp blades. As soon as they tried to attack the wood cultivators, they didn't even have a chance to escape. After hundreds of experts who thought too much of themselves died attempting it, people finally stopped and began a head-on fight against the Dragonblood Warriors. No wonder they're called the Dragonblood Legion. Over 10,000 people who are able to work together perfectly. It's truly a rare sight. On the other hand, although their opponent's collective power is 10 times greater, they are nothing more than a wild mob. As a result, well, the results are easy to see side someone in the neutral camp. The neutral camp's people could already see that although the Dragonblood Legion's fighting style looked chaotic and disordered, as if they were all fighting for themselves, they all had a tacit understanding with each other. As soon as someone needed help, someone would appear beside them. This was especially true when someone was in danger or had landed a heavy injury on an opponent. There was always someone who would come to assist or land the finishing blow. Many people were killed by this silent cooperation without even realizing it. The Dragonblood Legion's cooperation was at such a high level that others couldn't even understand it. Their cooperation raised their killing power to a peak, and they were not only in possession of great offense but also great defense. Up until now, not a single one of them had died. Fuck. You monsters. I'm not playing around with you any longer. A rank 9 celestial whose arm had just been cut off suddenly cursed and fled. His courage had been completely broken. Over 20,000 of the experts gathered from various forces had been slain without killing a single member of the Dragonblood Legion. That was truly frightening. It made them feel profoundly powerless. Yan Weishan's group of three was still fighting Long Chen, while the other Empyreans were unable to assist them. They couldn't see any hope any longer. The Dragonblood Legion was too powerful. That person ended up taking the lead in fleeing, and the result was that his departure shook the confidence of the others. Hundreds of people followed his lead. That started a snowball effect. Despite Yan Weishan's furious roar, he couldn't stop everyone from running away. Yan Weishan's fury soared. There were still over 150,000 of them left. Although 20,000 of them had died they still outnumbered the Dragonblood Legion 10 to 1. However, they actually lost just like this. The first expert had gotten a thousand miles away when suddenly, four huge pillars of light soared into the sky from the core of the battlefield. Chapter 1563 Strange Formation Translator Born to be the four pillars of light shot into the sky, blowing apart the clouds. That direction, isn't it the Grand Han's capital city walls? Cried someone. The Grand Han's capital city walls were square-shaped, and its four corners corresponded to the four rays of light. However, now that the capital had vanished, the light seemed to come out of nowhere. Divine runes filled the sky and fell, covering the world. At this time, a huge barrier had enveloped everyone, including Long Chen and the others. The first expert who had fled was at the front, but when he slammed into the barrier, he exploded into bloody mist. What the experts rushing to flee hastily stopped themselves. However, the barrier had appeared too suddenly, and quite a few people weren't able to stop their momentum and struck it. Continuous explosive sounds rang out as those people were all blown to bits. Even their ancestral items exploded. The appearance of this sudden barrier shocked everyone, including Long Chen. Was it to keep everyone here? However, when he looked at Yan Weishan and the others, he saw that they also had surprised expressions. They clearly hadn't known about this beforehand. Pen Wansheng, isn't this formation supposed to be used for trapping Long Chen? Why is it trapping all of us? Cried an expert from the ancient family alliance. Pen Wansheng was also befuddled, and he roared back. Sha Guangyan was the one who arranged this barrier. It was only supposed to be used to trap people within the city. How am I supposed to know what happened? 
Sha Guangyan had invited an expert to set up a killing formation within the Grand Han's capital, turning it into a giant cage that Long Chen would never be able to escape from. All the matters were left to the mysterious expert Sha Guangyan had invited. Apparently, that formation master was extremely mysterious, but his enmity with Long Chen was like a sea of blood, which was why he had come to help Sha Guangyan. However, that mysterious expert hadn't revealed his face the entire time, and since Sha Guangyan was dead, no one knew where that mysterious expert had gone to. Now the formation had ended up covering a huge space ten times greater than it was supposed to. No one could escape now. Send out the distress signal, you idiot. The formation blocks our messages. Panicked cries rang out. Someone tried launching a ranged attack at the formation, but the barrier caused his attack to rebound and kill him. Dragonblood Legion, ignore the formation. Kill all these people, shouted Long Chen. Although he didn't know the situation behind the formation, at least currently, it didn't matter. Boom, boom, boom. No, the Dragonblood Legion's rhythm didn't change. They were like one giant slaughter machine, slaying these experts in droves. Their so-called alliance was thrown in complete chaos and they were unable to form any effective defense. More and more of them were dying. Zither Fairy, your elusive music Immortal Palace is also one of the protectors of the continent. Are you just going to watch these murderous devils do as they please? Yan Weishan suddenly let out a furious roar. The three of them were unable to do anything to Long Chen, and they couldn't help their people. The experts standing in the neutral camp turned to Zi Yan in surprise. Did Zi Yan have some sort of relationship with Pill Valley? What did it mean for them to be the protectors of the Martial Heaven continent? They had never heard of such a thing. How despicable! snorted Yu Tong disdainfully. Zi Yan didn't react. It was like she hadn't heard Yan Weishan's shout. It was unknown what she was thinking. Zither Fairy, please. Pfft. Zither Fairy, save me. Pfft. Although there were many experts on that side, the Dragonblood Legion cut them down like weed, harvesting their lives. They had nowhere to run now and began to beg Zi Yan for help, but their begging ended up splitting their attention, causing them to die even faster. Twang. The sound of a zither suddenly rang out as heavy as a bell. People felt like their spiritual yuan and heavenly Tao energy were instantly stripped away. As a result, the magical arts and battle skills that were in the midst of being unleashed dissipated. Everyone was shocked and involuntarily paused, turning to look at Zi Yan in shock. Long Chen also stopped fighting and flew back to the Dragonblood Legion. He stared at Zi Yan coldly. Yan Weishan, Hu Shaolin and Jin Mingwei also returned to their own groups. The other experts hid behind them like chicks behind their mother hen. Previously, they had been full of disdain toward the Dragonblood Legion. Now, they only had fear. Yan Weishan couldn't help sighing with relief inside upon seeing Zi Yan interfere. On the other hand, Hu Ziaolin's eyes were spitting flames. The experts he had brought from the Darkwing Devil Tiger race had been cut down. Only three of them remained. That was partially the result of the Darkwing Devil Tiger race's experts being too conceited. They had charged to the very front of the battlefield. So naturally their losses were greater. Miss Zi Yan, are you becoming enemies with me? Long Chen took a deep breath, doing his best to keep his voice calm. However, he was unable to do so. His voice contained a kind of anger that could not be described with words. Long Chen didn't fear any of his enemies but he didn't want to become enemies with people he knew. Most importantly, there was a faint relationship between himself and Zi Yan that was very unclear. For Zi Yan to interfere made him feel extremely aggrieved and even indignant. None of you are to participate. Zi Yan looked back at Yu Tong and the others she had brought before slowly walking out. Zi Yan walked to the middle of the two camps. She lightly shook her head. I don't want to be your enemy, nor have I ever wanted to be. I hope that this matter can end here. You've already done what you've come to do. Your friends. You've saved. The person you wanted to kill. You've killed. You've gotten your vengeance. You've established your power. You've intimidated everyone. Your light will drown out everyone else in the Eastern Xuan region. There is no one in the junior generation who can compete against you any longer. You've already done everything you can do. So you can release these innocent people. Zi Yan looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. 
There was even a touch of panic in her eyes as she didn't know what she should do. However, she had no choice but to come out because she was the future successor of the elusive music Immortal Palace. There were some things that she had to face. She couldn't run. Tell me, who is innocent? Demanded Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen's current appearance toward her, Zi Yan was pained. However, she had no choice but to force herself to say, there are many people here who didn't know what exactly happened. It was Sha Guangyan who Long Chen interrupted. Are you telling me that people can do whatever they want as long as they don't know what's really happening? Not knowing allows them to do whatever they want to suck up to others? Not knowing allows them to raise their butcher's blade against my brothers? That's just a huge joke. A person isn't free from their crimes just because they don't know the details. If that were true, I would simply kill them all and say that I didn't know the details. So no one could get vengeance on me. Long Chen's voice grew louder and louder until it was a furious roar filled with killing intent. Are their heads just for show? You want me to let them off because they're innocent? However, even if they didn't know the truth, they still came to kill us. If we weren't strong enough, we'd have been annihilated. And who would come out to say that we were innocent then? So don't talk to me about how people are innocent. That word is nauseating. Don't bring up anything about truth either because there is no truth in this world. Whoever's mouth is larger, whoever's fist is harder is the one telling the truth. What did they do when Pill Valley slandered me? They curried favor, not caring about the truth to suck up to Pill Valley. Since they had the conscience to do this and be enemies with me, wanting to kill me, tell me why exactly I am supposed to let them go. Long Chen's voice rose in waves and crashed down like a tsunami. It was like the entire world was echoing his roar. His roar was like that of a demon god, and the killing intent in his eyes showed his hatred. Long Chen never told others about his grievances. He didn't need to explain himself to others. However, being blocked by Zi Yan infuriated him to the point that he needed to vent his rage. Long Chen, slaughter isn't able to solve problems. The Great Era is coming, but each time a Great Era comes, it's followed by a terrifying tribulation. The heavenly geniuses that rise in each great era always give birth to a sovereign in the end. However, no sovereign walked to the peak through slaughter. They were unrivaled due to their humanity. Long Chen, I don't want to be enemies with you. I'm begging you not to slaughter these innocent people, said Zi Yan. Long Chen looked at Zi Yan, staring into her eyes. The atmosphere was so tense that it was possible to hear the drop of a pin. The dragon blood warriors didn't make a sound. Men Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er exchanged looks, not knowing what to say. In truth, they had long since learned of Long Chen's relationship with Zi Yan. Back in the eastern wasteland, Zi Yan had sent him a photographic jade with a recording of a soul calming song. It had been extremely beneficial to the dragon blood legion's growth back then. Each of them had benefited from it. As women, they saw Zi Yan's special feelings toward Long Chen. Chu Yao suddenly opened her mouth, but she saw Men Chi wave her hand. Men Chi knew about Chu Yao's gentle nature. She wanted to let Long Chen take a step back. It was as Zi Yan said. Up to now, Long Chen was the greatest winner. He had gotten everything he wanted to get. However, Men Chi understood Long Chen and knew not to advise him when he was angry. Fine, said Long Chen suddenly. Everyone was shocked. Long Chen was actually conceding? Zi Yan was relieved. But his next words made her heart grow cold. I can let off the innocents. I'll have Men Chi investigate their souls. And if they really didn't know anything and thought I was truly wrong, I'll release them. But if they knew I was wrongly accused but still targeted me for ulterior motives, then sorry, I'm not in the habit of letting off my enemies. They must die. Long Chen's gaze swept across Yan Weishan and the others, his voice capable of cutting iron. Chapter 1564 No need to hold back any longer translator. Born to be Zi Yan couldn't help feeling sad. Although she had known the chances of reaching a compromise with Long Chen were remote, she had still held on to some hope, but it was now extinguished. Long Chen didn't have any intention of letting these people off. He wanted to kill them all. Long Chen you. His enemies naturally panicked. The reason why they had joined the side they were on was naturally not because of Long Chen, but because of Pill Valley. Long Chen clearly wanted to kill them. However, 
the person who was speaking was stopped by Yan Weishan. He had a faint smile, knowing that he had just pulled in a terrifying helper. Right now, everyone was trapped in this huge formation. No one could run. As long as Zi Yan joined their side, Long Chen and his Dragonblood Legion would definitely die. Sorry, I might have to disappoint you, Long Chen. I can't just watch as you kill them, said Zi Yan sadly. Zi Yan was aggrieved. She had done her best to avoid a conflict with Long Chen, but reality was constantly forcing her to stand on the opposing side. Perhaps that was fate. There's nothing to be sorry about. I just have this kind of temperament. Gratitude and grudges must be repaid. Once we start fighting, life and death will only be separated by a fine line. Don't hold back because I definitely won't. Whether you kill me or I kill you, neither one of us has to say sorry, said Long Chen calmly. Many people were able to hear the complicated emotions between them, and yet the two of them were still going to have a life and death match. For a moment, no one said a word. The neutral camp's experts were filled with pity. Both Long Chen and Zi Yan were experts at the top of their generation. One was a peerless domineering hero, while one was a beauty who could cause the downfall of a nation. Their feelings toward each other were easily seen through. Now, they had ended up at their current point, and Long Chen's final sentence was especially painful to hear. However, Yan Weishan's smile bloomed. He was an expert from Pill Valley. Others might not know Zi Yan's power, but he did. It was related to ancient secrets. Zi Yan slowly rose. A seven-string ancient zither appeared in front of her, and her white dress fluttered along with her long hair. She looked like she had just walked out of a painting. As her hands began to pluck the zither, all the world's energy seemed to listen to her music's call. A mass of primal chaos formed behind her. Within that primal chaos, an image of an ancient zither slowly appeared. Furthermore, the sound of a zither came from her manifestation. That was something that had not occurred in anyone else's manifestation. It was like a current of divine music, filling heaven and earth. It also filled people's hearts, cleansing them and making them forget about their desire to kill and fight. My manifestation is different from other people's. It's a unique manifestation of the elusive music Immortal Palace. Its name is Divine Music Through Eternity, said Zi Yan softly. Hearing that, the expressions of all the Empyreans changed. This zither fairy is very powerful. Not only has her manifestation started to awaken, but it's also an unrivaled existence in this world. Sighed Chu Yao. What's different about it compared to other Empyreans' manifestations? Asked Tang Wan Er. Other people's manifestations are like a field with many people planting a seed inside it. Each person is able to slowly grow their seed into a towering tree. However, the first person to fully awaken their manifestation will be the only one with a towering tree. The others will just be minor figures setting off their brilliance. As for the Zither Fairy's manifestation, it belongs only to her. It should be related to her cultivation technique. It's like there's only a single tree in the field. So all the nutrients are given to her. For her, awakening her full manifestation is just a matter of time. In other words, as long as she doesn't die. She will definitely become a true Empyrean, said Chu Yao. She looked at Long Chen profoundly. Divine music was still playing. It wasn't being played by Zi Yan or her zither. Instead, it came from within her manifestation. It was constantly cleansing people's souls, dispelling their desire to fight. Chu Yao, Tang Wan Er, and Men Chi looked at Long Chen. They actually had the same intention as Zi Yan. They all wished for Long Chen to back out of this awkward situation. Friends were friends. There was no need to turn them into enemies. The song is a divine song. The music is immortal music. It can cleanse a person's heart and soul. However, in the end, it's just an outer appearance. Once the divine song is over, people's greed, brutality, and desires will flourish once more. Even if you could spread your divine song throughout the heavens. So what? Once people are used to the music, their true nature will reveal itself. Even gods and immortals can only do so much, said Long Chen indifferently. Long Chen suddenly slammed his hand onto Dragonbone Evil Moon. The sound resounded through heaven and earth, and a berserk desire to slaughter filled the air. This berserk sound clashed with Zi Yan's music, shaking the world as two invisible forces raged in the air. The two sounds suddenly vanished. 
and the world returned to silence. Long Chen, be careful. That girl is the only one here who can kill you, warned Evil Moon. Someone who can kill me in the same realm has yet to be born. Long Chen's reply was indifferent. That wasn't arrogance, but the confidence he had to have to cultivate the nine-star hegemon body art. If he didn't have this confidence, then he wouldn't be fit to cultivate the nine-star hegemon body art. The world was tense with silence. It was calm before the storm, and the tension made it hard for them to breathe. Suddenly, the world began to shake. Everyone jumped in shock and hastily looked into the distance to see a mass of experts outside the barrier. The powerful senior experts of the corrupt path, ancient races, ancient family alliance, martial heaven alliance, pill valley, and the others had come and were using divine items to attack the barrier. Their attacks caused huge ripples to appear on the barrier, but it didn't break. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you're dead. The top experts of the various sects have all come. There's no way you can run. Laughed a rank 9 celestial upon seeing his sect master. Long Chen, you've slaughtered the innocents. Don't you think you should kneel and pay for your sins? Shouted another person loudly. Their confidence was restored. All the experts on the outside were attacking the barrier, causing it to rumble. The barrier's runes were in the midst of dimming. It was clearly about to break. Long Chen. If you give up now, I will protect you and let you leave, said Zi Yan. Zither fairy, what do you think you're doing? demanded Yan Weishan. Zi Yan ignored Yan Weishan and looked only at Long Chen. However, she was disappointed when Long Chen shook his head. I've sworn not to run again. Prepare yourself. We're going to start fighting. The divine ring behind Long Chen began to spin once more, and his Yuan spirit appeared, rapidly forming hand seals. Streaks of light spread throughout his body and connected. Split the heavens five. Long Chen knew that Zi Yan was a terrifying opponent. Hence, he immediately used his strongest attack, and a huge saber image tore through the void at the wildly shouting experts. Zi Yan sighed and plucked her zither. A wave of light spread. A second sound rang out from her manifestation, and another wave spread from it as well. The two waves joined and struck Long Chen's saber image with astounding speed. When Zi Yan's two waves of light connected, they actually formed a huge spatial blade. That spatial blade shocked everyone, as it seemed to throw space and time into chaos. This was a kind of divine power that had surpassed the limits of other powers. Boom. Long Chen's saber image and the spatial blade met, causing heaven and earth to shake. However, there was no explosion. The two forces caused a berserk vortex in the air, but space quickly twisted and the vortex shrank until it slowly vanished. Space returned to calm. Everyone was simply stunned. Even the people on the outside slowed down their attacks, most likely from shock. What kind of power is that? If the two attacks had caused a huge explosion that destroyed the land, that wouldn't cause so much shock. However, their attacks had strangely vanished instead. Everyone was shocked. This was some kind of unknown force. Is the Zither Fairy able to use her divine item due to her manifestation unable to comprehend that power? Many people came to such a conclusion. Yan Weishan, Jin Mingwei, and Hu Shaolin were shocked, as well as envious. This truly was the power of a divine item. Zi Yan's manifestation had a special origin and was connected to the divine item in her hand, the seven string sea suppressing Zither, that allowed her to unleash a portion of its power. Damn it. If Long Chen had learned the sixth form of Split the Heavens, there's no way his attack could be erased like this. Cursed Bao Buping regretfully. He and Bao Buping had already learned the sixth form. However, their power was limited, and they could not unleash the sixth form's full power. The sixth form's power was ten times greater than the fifth. In Long Chen's hands, it would definitely be able to unleash immense power. However, the profundities behind the sixth form were not something that could be explained in just a few words. So Bao Buping and Chang Hao were extremely vexed. Long Chen took a deep breath and rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. Meng Qi, don't hold back any longer. Summon it. Meng Qi's expression changed. She looked from Zi Yan to Long Chen. Do we really have to do this? Is it really worth it? Yes. Enmities must be repaid. We can't mix it with other feelings. Cloud's blood cannot be bled for nothing. It doesn't matter who or what reason they have. No one can stop our vengeance. 
said Long Chen resolutely. When Meng Chi heard Long Chen bring up Cloud, her hesitation vanished. She slowly formed hand seals, and a vast spiritual strength began to rise. Spiritual strength filled the world, causing the void to shake. A huge entity landed on the ground, and an ancient, Desolate Aura Spread Chapter 1565 The dream draws in the soul. The nightmare extinguishes a translator. Born to be what is that? Everyone was shocked to see a giant skeleton. It looked like a bone dragon with three skulls. Each of its skulls had a hole on its forehead, and its huge bone wings held countless runes. This huge body gave everyone a sense of pressure. Fluctuations were coming from it as if it were alive. That seems to be a three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast. So this kind of ancient divine beast actually exists cried out someone in shock. Impossible. That's something that exists only in myth and fable. How could it really exist in uproar erupted? The three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast was something only described in fairy tales. Most people thought they were a fabricated existence that had never really existed. The fairy tale said that it was a nightmare that wreaked people's lives. That frightening story was the only reason people had any idea what it was. However, now that they were seeing this skeleton, they all felt a chill. Even something from a fairy tale had been pulled out by Long Chen. His trump cards were truly frightening. I don't like causing trouble, but I'm not afraid of trouble. If you want to target me, well, since we're all climbing to the peak of the martial path, stepping over other people's shoulders to advance is normal. If I were to die to someone's hands like that, I would have no complaints. However, people have their own reverse scale, and my reverse scale is my people. Since you had the guts to harm my family, to use any means necessary, I'm sure you came prepared to be killed by me. You know I'm no saint, and repaying enmity with kindness isn't something I'm capable of doing. I have always believed in a tooth for a tooth, an eye for an eye. Today. I will show the world that if anyone wants to kill me, they should come at me. But if they come for my people, then only one of us can exist in this world. Long Chen's gaze swept across the experts on the other side. His gaze was as sharp as a blade, and he waved his hand. The three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast suddenly raised all three of its heads and roared. Its wings rose, and the divine runes around it lit up. Multicolored lights interwove. The world felt like it had become a land of fantasy and dreams. As the multicolored lights flowed, the opposing experts began to collapse one by one. Thousands of people fell in just an instant. Their souls dissipated. Twang. Twang. Yan Weishan, Hu Shaolin, and Jin Mingwei's expressions completely changed. Just now, they had felt like they had been drawn into another world. Fighting countless experts. Each of those experts had been terrifying and just as it felt like they wouldn't be able to hold on any longer, the music of a zither brought them back to reality. They felt a burst of fear. Just now, they had been drawn into an illusion. If Long Chen had launched a sneak attack during that time, they would be dead now. This three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast was absolutely terrifying. They were drawn into its illusions without being able to react at all. If it hadn't been for Zi Yan, they had no idea when they would have managed to react. However, in just the blink of an eye, a lot of the experts around them had collapsed. They had been silently killed. This was the most chilling, most terrifying way to die. Zi Yan's expression was grave as she continuously played her zither, unleashing waves that covered the experts around her, blocking the three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast's illusory arts. At this moment, the space in the distance shook. The various senior experts were crazily attacking the barrier. The appearance of the three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast made them insane. Seeing their disciples collapse, they roared furiously. Regretfully, their roars were blocked by the barrier. It was unknown what they were shouting. But based on their usual practices, it was definitely something along the lines of if you kill my disciples, I'll kill you and your family. Long Chen ignored what was happening outside. Meng Chi was repeatedly forming hand seals to unleash the three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast's attack, but it was blocked by Zi Yan's music. Zi Yan was truly powerful. Her manifestation and her divine item resonated with each other. Other than the thousands of experts that died right at the start, no more died. The three-head nine-eye illusion spirit beast's power was unable to break through her music. 
That wasn't because the three head nine eye illusion spirit beast wasn't powerful enough to even defeat Zi Yan, but simply that it was now nothing more than a corpse. Furthermore, it was unknown how many tens of thousands of years ago it had died. Most of its power had already run out. Meng Chi was using her spiritual strength to activate the remnant energy within its crystal core, allowing it to unleash its attack. Long Chen, do you want to continue? Meng Chi looked at Long Chen. This is our vengeance. No matter who it is that tries to stop us, they can't stop us. If humans block us, we'll kill humans. If gods block us, we'll kill gods. Long Chen didn't hesitate. Hearing that, Zi Yan's face paled slightly, and her eyes became misty. However, she clenched her teeth and acted indifferent. She continued playing the seven string C suppressing zither to defend. Meng Chi looked at the distant Zi Yan, saying sorry in her heart. She formed nine different hand seals. On the ninth seal, the three head nine eye illusion spirit beast's three heads lit up. A ray of divine light shot out of each of its eyes. They were like nine sharp blades shooting out. Boom. The nine rays of divine light instantly pierced Zi Yan's defenses and swept through their enemies. Anyone struck by the light wasn't even able to make a sound before being turned into nothingness, forever vanishing from this world. The instant her defenses were broken, Zi Yan's body shook, and blood leaked out of the corner of her mouth, dripping onto her chest. Kill. With the defenses broken, Long Chen let out a shout and charged forward. Evil Moon slashed toward Yan Weishan, split the heavens five. Despite having his furnace to protect himself, Yan Weishan was sent flying and hacked up blood from Long Chen's attack. Just as Long Chen was preparing to unleash a second attack, Zi Yan appeared in front of him. Anger appeared in Long Chen's eyes. Double dragon destruction Long Chen placed his saber on his back and formed a hand seal. This time, he didn't hold back at all. Lai Long and Huo Long's full power burst forth. A golden flame dragon and a five-colored lightning dragon intertwined, unleashing all their power at Zi Yan. Lai Long and Huo Long's power was sucked dry in just one attack. This was Long Chen's most ferocious attack. Zi Yan's zither shone with divine light. Ripples spread, tearing through the void. Boom. Heaven and earth shook. Lightning and flames filled the sky causing the barrier to shudder. The entire barrier dimmed rapidly because of this one attack. Zi Yan was blown back. Before she could stabilize, a hand reached out from within the lightning and flames, catching her neck. Long Chen, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er let out a startled cry. In the distance, Yu Tong and the others' expressions were pale as paper. Zi Yan was caught in Long Chen's hands. At this moment, only a thin line separated her life and death. Caught by Long Chen, Zi Yan didn't reveal any fear. Instead, her eyes seemed calm. There seemed to be an unclear emotion deep within them. It seemed to be a kind of release. Long Chen looked at Zi Yan, all kinds of emotions swirling in his heart. In the end, the two of them had still ended up fighting. The heavens truly knew how to play with people. Zi Yan back in front of the hidden dragon abode in the eastern wastelands Qing prefecture. My friend Mu Xue was captured and used as a hostage against me. You were the one who saved her. Back then, I swore that I would repay that favor. You saved my friend's life back then. So today, I'll let you off this once. From now on, neither of us owe the other anything. Any ties between us are broken. If we meet again, we will probably be enemies. At that time, whether you kill me or I kill you, neither of us have to feel any guilt. Long Chen waved his hand, sending Zi Yan flying toward Yu Tong and the others. Yu Tong hastily reached out to catch her. Zi Yan coughed up a mouthful of blood. Just now, Long Chen had forced his spiritual Yuan into her body, shaking her meridians and causing her to temporarily lose the ability to fight. Long Chen, Yu, Yu Tong was enraged that Long Chen would be so vicious to Zi Yan. She was about to shout at him when Zi Yan stopped her. Yu Tong, I'm tired. Can you hold me and let me sleep? After saying that, Zi Yan directly lost consciousness. Yu Tong's tears dripped down. She had grown up together with Zi Yan and knew her the best. She understood the pain in Zi Yan's heart. Compared to the injuries to her body, it was Long Chen's words that had cut her the most. Zi Yan had passed out because she felt helpless and could only escape using this method. Kill them all, roared Long Chen. 
charging back at Yan Weishan, Hu Shaolin, and Jin Mingwei. The three of them fought all out, but due to the three head nine eye illusion spirit beast's influence, their power was greatly weakened. Even with their manifestations resisting it, they felt sleepy and were unable to concentrate. They were forced into desperate straits by Long Chen. At the same time, the dragon blood legion charged. The experts in front of them collapsed in droves, and rivers of blood flowed. Everyone, hold on. The reinforcements are nearly here, and the three head nine eye illusion spirit beast's power is about to run out. The one to die in the end will still be Long Chen shouted someone upon seeing the runes on the three head nine eye illusion spirit beast turn dark just as he finished saying that the three head nine eye illusion spirit beast skeleton crumbled all its energy was used up and it could no longer be used at this point the experts from the various powers had been reduced to less than fifty thousand as their numbers dwindled the speed at which they died increased however they clenched their teeth and persevered the barrier in the sky was weakening, looking like it might break at any moment. That let them see hope. Meng Chi shouted Long Chen suddenly. The dream traps the soul. The nightmare extinguishes it. Hearing Long Chen's call, Meng Chi didn't hesitate. She summoned back her flying swords, and a vast spiritual ripple spread from her, covering the battlefield. Her face turned as pale as paper as she exhausted all her soul energy with this one attack. All the various experts were shocked to find their Yuan spirits being stripped from their bodies. No, the Dragonblood warriors took advantage of this moment to launch their strongest attacks. They slaughtered them Novaloon.com just at this moment. The barrier in the sky exploded. The experts outside the barrier finally broke through. Long Chen, you ingrate. Hand over your life. Countless life star experts charged at Long Chen. Chapter 1566 Five Stars Awaken. Heaven and Earth Shake Translator. Born to be all these senior experts had watched as their beloved disciples died one by one at Long Chen and his people's hands. The barrier that had appeared was extremely strange. When their attacks landed on it, a portion of their power was absorbed by the barrier and used to block their remaining power. This formation was absolutely shameless to use their own power to block their attacks. That was why the barrier had taken so long to break. It was only by continuously weakening its power that they managed to finally break through. Just as they broke the barrier, they saw Meng Chi unleash a powerful move that temporarily stripped their disciples of their Yuan spirits. Meng Qi's move was absolutely shocking. Since it was spread over such an enormous area, its power was weakened and she was only able to strip their Yuan spirits out of their bodies for half a breath's time. However, that half a breath's time was what ended their lives. The Dragonblood Legion didn't need any direction. Their cooperation was seamless. As soon as Meng Chi unleashed her move, they unleashed their own powerful moves, slaughtering their opponents. In the end, only around a thousand people survived. The rest were killed. Those people were people whose spiritual strength was also very monstrous. With Menki's technique spread over such a wide area, they managed to pull back their Yuan spirits immediately and protect themselves. Seeing the barrier break, they were delighted and hastily fled toward their reinforcements. They furiously roared, Long Chen, you're dead now, Evil Moon said, Long Chen, you should run, there are too many of them, and they have divine items. Your Dragonblood Legion will take large casualties over a hundred thousand life star experts charged over like a tide. Anyone would feel a chill from that sight. I've already said that I won't rely on your power to run again. That will affect my Dao heart. Long Chen shook his head. He made a gesture, causing the Dragonblood Legion to regather. Seeing the reinforcements, Yan Weishan, Hu Shaolin, and Jin Mingwei all exchanged a glance. They all nodded. The three of them suddenly coughed up blood onto their divine items. That one mouthful of blood contained the majority of their essence blood. Their three divine items unleashed blinding light. Divine pressure crashed down on Long Chen. Long Chen, did you really think we only had this little ability? Today, I'll let you understand what a true trump card is, sneered Yan Weishan. The golden furnace above him was shining with divine light. Its divine power had already locked onto Long Chen. At the same time, Hu Ziaolin's bone claw and Jin Mingwei's blood gourd were also locked onto him. The three of them were now safe thanks to these reinforcements. 
and so they didn't mind exhausting a huge amount of their essence blood to activate their divine items. By killing Long Chen in front of everyone, they would retrieve the face they had lost today. This battle had been extremely miserable for them. It could be said that they had already lost. As for whether or not they could reverse that loss, it would be up to this attack. There were multiple reasons why they hadn't unleashed this move before. One was because of their ulterior motives and desire to preserve their power. Another reason was because they wanted to pull in Ziyan. But the main reason was because they didn't care about the deaths of these experts. Although they were allied for this one occasion, they didn't have the slightest relationship to them. They had no reason to do their utmost to help them. The reason they were unleashing this move now was mostly because of their own reputations. If Long Chen fell to others, it wouldn't make up for their defeat. So they had to kill him themselves. Furthermore, their reinforcements had arrived. So they didn't need to worry about entering a weak state after using this move. There was no threat to their lives. Their three divine items unleashed three huge pillars of light that enveloped Long Chen. He was like a bird in a cage. They were actually holding back their most terrifying move. All the neutral camp's experts let out startled cries. They had truly hidden their power deeply. Men Chi and the others' expressions also changed. They hadn't expected these three to be so sinister. Despite how urgent the situation had been, they had still held back their strongest trump card. As for Long Chen, he had already used up his trump cards. The only thing that comforted them was that Long Chen didn't reveal the slightest sign of panic. Instead, he seemed to look at their actions with disdain. Long Chen sneered. You didn't even have the courage to put your life on the line. People like you are fated to never be able to compete with me. Did you really think these people could save you? Today, I'll show you what true power is. Long Chen stabbed his saber into the ground and bent his back slightly. The divine ring behind him suddenly stopped moving. Formless energy started to rise from below Long Chen. A wild gale surged around him, causing his clothes to wave wildly. His hair blew back toward the sky. A wild aura was circulating within Long Chen's body. The five-point star in his divine ring grew brighter and brighter. Its lines also grew thicker. The ground beneath him cracked. Those cracks instantly spread throughout the battlefield. The dragonblood Legion hastily retreated, and the distant neutral camp's experts followed. They were all silent. Only the senior experts composed of sect masters and the like were still roaring furiously as they charged over. Feng Fu Star. Awaken. The lower left corner of Long Chen's five-point star in his divine ring lit up. A star appeared there. At the same time, his left foot began to shine. The air of primal chaos and a grand dar revolved around him. What is that? He still had a trump card. The jaws of the neutral camp's experts dropped. Evil Moon, you laughed at me for not having the qualifications to challenge the sovereigns. Today, I'll show you my qualifications. Even I don't know how strong this move is, because it's my first time as well. Long Chen smiled. The reason why Long Chen had arrived late was because something had happened with the nine-star hegemon body art. Before this problem, he had assumed that once he finished the ninth star transformation of the Divine Gate Star, he would be able to summon the true five-star battle armor. However, he was shocked to find that as soon as the Divine Gate Star went through its transformation, the five stars immediately shut down. That had made his soul almost flee his body in terror. If he couldn't use the five stars, he wouldn't be able to save Cloud. He had hastily poured more heaven and earth divine spring into the divine gate star, only to find that it didn't change at all. After testing what was going on, he found that when he nourished the Feng Fu star with the heaven and earth divine spring, it began to awaken. It was like it had become revitalized with life and was different from before. After the Feng Fu star, the Aleph star also slowly woke. All his stars seemed to be undergoing a special metamorphosis that required the heaven and earth divine spring. Long Chen found that he didn't have enough heaven and earth divine spring, so he hastily went to find more. However, he didn't reveal his identity at that time to avoid causing anything unexpected in the dragon slaughtering convention. He had flipped through dozens of powerful forces and snatched their heaven and earth divine springs in order to fully awaken his five-star battle armor. Then he immediately rushed over to the Grand Han. Now, this was his first time activating the Feng Fu star like this. 
His power instantly surged. The feeling of being full of power was delightful, and this level of power even frightened himself. Aliyah Star, Awaken, Life Fate Star Awaken, Enlightenment Palace Star, Awaken, his left foot, right hand, left hand, and right foot all began to shine. The lower and middle corners of his five-point star in his divine ring each had a star appear. With every star that awakened, his power soared. That power caused the sky to quiver. Divine Gate Star, Awaken, Long Chen's forehead lit up. The peak corner of the five-point star lit up as well and the five stars were all shining brightly. Endless energy was flowing within it, like a lifeless cosmos that had suddenly been filled with limitless energy. Boom! A pillar of light soared into the sky. The stars shook, while Long Chen seemed like the undefeatable god of the starry sky. Everyone was shocked, and even the experts charging at him felt fear. That kind of power was just too terrifying. Yan Weishan, Hu Shaolin, and Jin Mingwei all felt a chill. Long Chen was no human, he was a ferocious monster. Their three divine items finally finished accumulating energy, and three streaks of light shot toward Long Chen. Long Chen looked at those three streaks of light coldly. He randomly swung Evil Moon. Boom! Their three attacks exploded. Divine light sprinkled through the air. He destroyed the attacks of three powerful divine items with a random stroke of his saber. Heavens! Who in the world can match him? cried out someone in shock and terror. Yan Weishan, Hu Shaolin, and Jin Mingwei coughed up blood. They flew back along with their three divine items. I only have ten breaths time. Evil Moon, if you want to eat meat, hurry up, said Long Chen as he sensed at the energy rapidly being exhausted in his body. Good job, Long Chen, you've impressed me. Then let's go all out. Evil Moon cried out excitedly. Long Chen's figure vanished from his original location. When he reappeared, he was right in front of Hu Shaolin. His saber slashed heavily onto Hu Xiaolin's giant head. Chapter 1567 Killing Hu Shaolin Translator Born to be five stars revolved in Long Chen's eyes. They were the same stars as the ones behind him. The stars were burning, causing his power and speed to reach an unbelievable level. He appeared in front of Hu Shaolin with such speed that no one could track him with their eyes. The reason Long Chen had chosen Hu Shaolin as his target wasn't because he hated him in particular. It was just that he was very large, making him the most obvious target. Hu Shaolin hastily blocked with his bone claw. However, he was now weakened from his previous attack. He couldn't bear Long Chen's power. When Long Chen's saber landed, the bone claw was fine. But Long Chen's force was so great that he made the bone claw smash into Hu Xiaolin's head, causing his head to explode. A large figure flew out of Hu Xiaolin's head. It was something around the size of a house, and there was a pair of black wings on it as it fled. That was Hu Xiaolin's crystal core. The Xuan beasts were different from humans. Humans passed down their abilities through teaching and learning. On the other hand, the Xuan beasts passed down their inheritances through their bloodlines and crystal cores. As for the Yuan spirits, the humans kept them in their mind sea, but the Xuan beasts had their Yuan spirits in their crystal core. The Xuan beasts might be number one in terms of physical power, but their souls were very weak. That was part of the heavenly deos. If you had the strongest point, you also had to have the weakest point. As for the Xuan beasts' weakest point, it was their Yuan spirits. Once Hu Xiaolin's body was destroyed, his Yuan spirit fled with his crystal core. However, Long Chen gave him no chance. Evil Moon slashed down mercilessly, instantly shattering the crystal core. Hu Xiaolin's Yuan spirit was destroyed. All the experts felt their hearts shake. A genius of the terrifying Xuan beasts had just fallen. The Xuan beasts were probably about to go crazy. Long Chen was truly brazen. Once Hu Shaolin died. The white bone claw transformed into a ray of light that vanished from the battlefield. As for Long Chen, he was already moving on toward the corrupt path's Jin Mingwei. Evil Moon was raised high into the air. Jin Mingwei had long since lost his initial arrogance. He was terrified. Corrupt master, save me. Due to losing so much essence blood, Jin Mingwei's power had sharply fallen. He couldn't receive a single blow from Long Chen. At this moment, an elder with dark blotches covering his face rapidly formed hand seals with his withered hands. The blood gourd's runes lit up. 
It grew and appeared in front of Jin Mingwei, blocking Long Chen. This was clearly a life star expert from the corrupt path, the real controller of the blood gourd. Boom. Long Chen's saber landed heavily on the gourd. This time, Evil Moon's black runes also lit up. Two divine powers clashed. The gourd was sent flying, while Long Chen was also forced back. If a soul transformation expert could unleash one hundredth of the divine item's power, then a life star expert could wield ten percent of its power. As for this particular elder, his aura was extremely powerful. There was a trace of death chi swirling around him. He was already half a step into a higher realm, allowing him to unleash almost 30% of his divine item's power. Even with his five stars fully activated, Long Chen was forced back. However, the shock waves from a clash of two powerful divine items blew apart Jin Mingwei's physical body. Only his Yuan spirit escaped. Long Chen, not even death can wipe away your crimes. Today, you must be executed to remove a scourge from the eastern Xuan region. The Flame Divine Palace's master appeared, flying toward Long Chen. The Golden Furnace rapidly grew and smashed at Long Chen. You're the parasite of the continent. I should be the one removing you. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon at the Golden Furnace. Long Chen was once more knocked back, but the palace master also shook, almost coughing up blood. However, he forcibly swallowed it back down to maintain his dignity. Long Chen, you goddamn bastard. Hand over my son's life, shouted an expert from the ancient family alliance. Long Chen recognized him as the patriarch of the Sha family. Long Chen sneered and slashed his saber. The Sha family's patriarch's divine item exploded. Without the slightest resistance, he exploded into blood mist. Evil Moon was now unleashing its divine power, and quasi divine items were not able to stop it. Adding on Long Chen's current power with the five star battle armor. His power surpassed everyone's expectations. Even with a divine item, the Shah family patriarch was slain in one move. The palace master and the corrupt path's elder were both shocked. Long Chen was much more terrifying than they had ever imagined. They had to kill him with their full power. Even with two powerful divine items, they were unable to defeat him. Those with divine items, unleash long-range attacks, shouted Yan Weishan while hiding in the crowd. He couldn't help being enraged and jealous upon seeing Long Chen still able to remain undefeated against these two powerful experts. Over ten experts attacked at the same time. Divine Light shot toward Long Chen, enveloping him. Long Chen crazily slashed Evil Moon out, forcing back the Golden Furnace and Blood Gourd. Each collision caused cracks to appear on his body, but they were instantly healed by the Primal Chaos Bead. Each collision was a clash of divine power. His own power wasn't even needed. He just needed to make sure his body didn't break down. Long Chen, this is no good. That furnace is too powerful, and my power is limited. Think of some way of conning the gourd. That gourd will be very useful to me, said Evil Moon. Long Chen had said that his five-star battle armor could only be maintained for at most ten breaths time. Now, it had already been five breaths. In a bit. All his power would be exhausted by the five-star battle armor. Fuck. These bastards don't know when to stop. There are so many of them. What am I supposed to do? Raged Long Chen. As he focused on blocking the attacks of the two powerful divine items, he also had to block the sneak attacks of the other experts. He was already at his limit. Guo Ran. Help me handle that damn old bearded bastard. Shouted Long Chen. He forced back the blood gourd and then charged into the crowd, ignoring the flame divine palace's master. These experts were constantly disturbing him like flies. Finally, some work. Brothers, execute the plan, shouted Guo Ran, standing at the front of the dragon blood legion. Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingguan all pressed their hands on Guo Ran's back. Following that, each of the dragon blood warriors pressed their hands on the warrior in front of them. The power of over 12,000 warriors gathered. Their armor began to shine, and their energy flowed toward Guo Ran. Guo Ran crossed his sabers. He pointed them at the palace master who was about to send the golden furnace at Long Chen. Dragonblood cross slash. All the Dragonblood Legion's armor bloomed with light. A huge cross shot out of Guo Ran's sabers, whistling through the air. Back when Guo Ran had forged their sets of armor, 
he had imagined a peerless attack made by concentrating everyone's power. After countless tests and going through it with Long Chen, he had finally succeeded. This was their first time unleashing it in front of others. The palace master who was just about to chase after Long Chen suddenly felt a sensation of mortal danger fill him. He shivered. When he saw that huge, deadly cross shooting toward him, he jumped in fright. That attack was so terrifying that he could feel his death coming. He suddenly spat a mouthful of blood onto the golden furnace, and it grew to the size of a mountain. Boom. The huge cross slammed into the golden furnace, and a huge explosion that caused the world to lose all sound occurred. The golden furnace was sent flying, while the palace master shook violently and coughed up blood, flying into the distance along with the golden furnace. All the experts present were shocked. They had never imagined that the dragon blood legion would possess such a move. Fortunately, the golden furnace that the palace master possessed was no ordinary divine item. Otherwise, it would have been difficult for him to escape his death. The dragon blood warriors took a deep breath. All their faces were a bit pale. That one attack had sucked away the majority of their energy. This one attack contained the energy of over 12,000 dragon blood warriors. Although it didn't contain any divine power, it had reached the strength of divine power. The only regretful thing was that the golden furnace was too powerful. The palace master only suffered a slight injury. However, Long Chen was now running free amongst the crowd. Huge saber mages were flying through the air. Split the heavens five. It was unknown how many life star experts were slain by just this one attack. Even six divine items were shattered. Long Chen raised his saber again, preparing to unleash another attack. But just at that moment, a huge blood gourd stealthily approached him from behind. At some unknown point, its lid had popped open. Its opening was like a gaping maw, and it formed a wild whirlpool. Long Chen turned back to look. Blood devours the heavens. The corrupt expert sneered, and he slammed a rune, which he had drawn with blood in his hand, onto the gourd. Long Chen didn't resist. He was directly swallowed into the blood furnace. Chapter 1568 Once more killing Jin Mingwei translator. Born to be damn. Long Chen. You're quite the badass. How did you know he would suck you in? Evil Moon was filled with praise toward Long Chen. Long Chen had actually succeeded in getting into the gourd. Don't waste words. I'm almost at my limit. Said Long Chen. Panting. He was no god. How was he supposed to know that the gourd had its own space that could suck people inside? This was entirely a coincidence. Long Chen was like a blind cat who had found a dead mouse. His thought had merely been to eliminate the troublesome fellows and see if he could find an opportunity. But the corrupt elder had directly activated his divine item special space to suck Long Chen in while his back was turned to him. Just as Long Chen was about to resist the suction. Evil Moon had let out a pleasantly surprised cry. Acting like he couldn't react, he had allowed him himself to be sucked in. In truth, his acting was far too exaggerated, but the corrupt elder didn't suspect anything. Perhaps he wasn't afraid of Long Chen doing anything. Once Long Chen was sucked in, the gourd's outer runes transformed into frightening ghouls that entered it as well. Seeing Long Chen being sucked in, everyone jumped in shock. That was a terrifying divine item. Once someone was sucked in, they would probably never come out again. Although divine items couldn't refine other divine items, meaning the gourd probably wouldn't be able to do anything to Evil Moon, Long Chen would probably be instantly killed. Corrupt Master, refine Long Chen's essence blood. I want to drink it all, or I won't be able to expel my hatred, shouted Jin Mingwei. Right now, his physical body had been destroyed causing his hatred for Long Chen to grow even greater. Although he could find another body, it was very difficult to find a suitable one. Even if he did find a powerful body, once they merged, there would definitely be some kind of resistance that would cause his talent to drop in the future and weaken him. This was even worse than killing him. Seeing Long Chen being sucked into the blood gourd, Jin Mingwei shouted furiously, wanting him dead this instant. There's no need for that. I'll destroy his Yuan spirit and leave his physical body for you. The corrupt elder smiled sinisterly. Hearing that, Jin Mingwei's rage instantly transformed into delight. Long Chen's physical body was absolutely terrifying. It was even stronger than the Xuan beasts whose Island's body. 
If he obtained Long Chen's body, then combined with some secret arts, his combat power would actually increase. What do we do? Guo Ran and the others' expressions changed. Long Chen had been sucked into that terrifying gourd, and they had no idea what to do. Their previous attack had sucked up the majority of their energy, and they couldn't unleash it again. Blood erases the soul. 10,000 ghosts slaughter the spirit. The corrupt elder formed hand seals, causing the gourd to spin in the air. It's divine light shining. Frightening shrieks came from within the gourd, giving other people's chills. Within the gourd's space, it was a blood-colored world. Countless blood monstrosities were charging at him. Long Chen was surrounded by golden flames that formed a perfect defense around him. Anything that touched the golden flames would immediately let out a miserable shriek and flee. Their whole body ignited. Once ignited, some kind of special energy would extinguish the flames on their bodies, and they would charge at Long Chen once more. Long Chen ignored them. As he maintained his flame shield, he roved around this space. I found it. It's up ahead. There. Hey. You're going the wrong direction shouted Evil Moon. You fool. Do you think others are as stupid as you? If we go there directly, they'd realize something was off. We have to make them feel like we're running around randomly in panic. A sneak attack isn't as effective if they're prepared, said Long Chen. Ah, not bad. It really is you humans that are the craftiest even upon being cursed by Long Chen. Evil Moon wasn't angered. Instead, it praised him. Long Chen ignored Evil Moon. The flame barrier around him shrank with each passing moment. That was because the corrupt elder was controlling more and more of the blood monstrosities, and they were growing stronger. Long Chen had to reduce the range of his barrier. He acted like he couldn't hold on much longer. He dashed left and right, but in the end, he reached the place that Evil Moon had pointed out. This space was its own minor world. It was a wasteland. As for the place that Evil Moon had pointed out, it was merely a small bump in the wasteland. On this uneven ground, it appeared completely ordinary. Long Chen let out a sudden explosive cry and stabbed Evil Moon into the ground. This space instantly became chaotic. The item spirit had finally sensed something. Regretfully, it was too late. The ground exploded, revealing a huge altar. Evil Moon was stabbed right into an image at the center of the altar. This image was of a ferocious beast chained by countless divine runes. This was the Blood Gourd's item spirit. This image was now shaking violently, as if it was resisting. However, the runic chains bound it, making it so it couldn't resist. The two dragon images on Evil Moon lit up, and its rumbling rang out like the roar of a furious dragon. Up in the sky, countless blood-colored runic chains exploded. The image slowly faded. Long Chen could clearly sense a new immense power inside Evil Moon. Haha, <laughs> that was satisfying Evil Moon shouted in joy. It had instantly annihilated the item spirit and sucked away all of its divine energy. This blood gourd was a fierce killing tool that had slaughtered countless people. This kind of energy was greatly beneficial to Evil Moon. In the outside world, the corrupt elder suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. This sudden change shocked everyone. In the distance. The flame divine palace's master flew back with the golden furnace. He was just about to say not to kill Long Chen, because Long Chen's secrets were something Pill Valley longed to learn. However, before he could speak, the corrupt elder suffered a heavy injury. Even more shocking was the blood gourd. Its bright runes were rapidly dimming. Its aura was also withering away. What's going on? Everyone stared at the blood gourd in confusion. Boom. Suddenly. The bottom of the blood gourd exploded. A figure shot out of the newly formed hole, and a five-colored divine ring appeared once more. It's Long Chen. Startled cries rang out, along with cheers from the dragon blood legion. However, their cries had just started when Long Chen attacked. I told you, there's no essence blood. Do you want my piss instead? A huge saber image struck the dumbfounded Yuan spirit of Jin Mingwei. Jin Mingwei's soul was annihilated. Following Hu Shaolin, another peak heavenly genius was slain. He's capable of killing Empyreans even in this kind of situation. He really is heaven-defying. Back when the dragon slaughtering convention was announced, everyone had thought that this was simply an execution. If Long Chen came, he would definitely die. Who would have thought? This dragon slaughtering convention, instead of slaughtering a dragon, 
became a convention where the dragon slaughtered the others. The sight of Long Chen killing Jin Mingwei was especially amazing. The scattered fragments of his Yuan spirit illuminated him along with his divine ring. A generation's genius had died, setting off Long Chen's unrivaled power. This scene was something these people would never be able to forget. Jin Mingwei was truly a fool, thinking that Long Chen was definitely dead. He had stood at the front of the crowd. That was the easiest place for Long Chen to kill him. If Long Chen hadn't killed him, it would be like Long Chen was letting him down. After killing Jin Mingwei, Long Chen charged at the other experts, preparing to kill a few more of them before the five star battle armor disappeared. However, halfway there, his divine ring vanished along with the five point star. His eyes then returned to normal, and a wave of exhaustion came over him. What? It's only been nine breaths. It was shorter than I estimated. Long Chen instantly became dumbfounded. He was not right in front of these people. Fortunately, these experts were already terrified of him. They scattered. If even the Blood Gourd wasn't able to handle him, then their quasi divine items were nothing. However, they had only fled for a bit before they realized something was wrong. Long Chen's divine ring had vanished, and his aura had plummeted. His secret arts vanished. Kill him. Get vengeance for our children, shouted a life star expert from the ancient races. He was the first to attack. Following that person, the others also roared and attacked. Long Chen sneered and raised Evil Moon. Evil Moon, it's about time for you to get to work, said Long Chen. Having eaten so much, it was time for it to show its power. I'm really sorry, Long Chen. I might have eaten a bit too much. Most of my power is being used to suppress the energy I just consumed. I can't help you. Evil Moon's voice was very quiet. It truly did seem sorry. What the fuck? You really are a con man. Long Chen's face immediately turned green. These experts were not right in front of him. There was no time for him to run. Boom. The ground exploded and a huge willow appeared. Countless branches rained down on those experts like sharp blades. Chapter 1569 Heaven Splitting Blade Translator Born to be the willow branches were like a torrent of swords as they rained down from the sky. Some experts didn't react fast enough and were pierced by them. Those seemingly tender branches flowed with divine light, and not even ancestral items could block them. It was unknown how many experts were slain in that instant. The undying willow had finally attacked. Before Long Chen had arrived, it had been the one to block the attacks of the experts, protecting the Dragon Blood Legion. Despite being named Undying, blocking the attacks of three powerful divine items had exhausted a great deal of its energy. After Long Chen had arrived, it hadn't interfered again. Chu Yao had told it to quickly recover its energy. The Undying Willow's recovery speed was monstrous, and during the time Long Chen had been fighting, it had almost recovered to its peak state. Now that Long Chen was out of energy, Chu Yao immediately summoned it. The Undying Willow launched its most ferocious killing move. Long Chen felt a branch wrap around his chest, and he was pulled over to under the giant willow's crown. There was a woman there who stared coldly at Long Chen. She was the Undying Willow. She had been named Lu Ruian by Chu Yao. Lu Ruian possessed a beautiful, transcendent air. However, Whenever she saw Long Chen, there would be hostility in her eyes. Thank you. Long Chen sighed with relief. Evil Moon had almost conned him to death. If it hadn't been for Lu Ruian, he might have died there. I was just helping Sister Chu Yao, sniffed Lu Ruian coldly refusing to accept his thanks. Long Chen smiled and didn't reply. Back then, he had gone all out to seal Lu Ruian. It seemed she had decided to forever remember that enmity. With her petty nature, she might never look at him nicely. Boom. The branches exploded as a huge furnace shot through them. The flame divine palace's master was attacking. Lu Ruian's expression changed, and she formed a hand seal. Countless branches gathered together in front of her, but she was still unable to stop the golden furnace. The golden furnace tumbled through her branches, smashing them to pieces. Perhaps only Lu Ruian with her body of the Undying Willow could block a divine item. But even so, it exhausted far too much energy. That's about enough. Long Chen shook his head and sighed. He sent a spiritual message to Bao Buping, who took out a formation disc he crushed it. Space shook, and eight figures appeared in the sky. 
The one at the front was an imposing elder with a pitch black wooden staff. It was the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's current master. Behind him were the seven bosses of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect as soon as they saw the situation. They jumped in shock. What's going on here? Boss Ba was shocked. Remnant divine energy still hung in the air, and the ground was in ruins and soaked with blood. Scattered bits of weapons and armor were everywhere. This was an apocalyptic scene. Before the dragon slaughtering convention had started, Long Chen had reached out to the heaven splitting battle sect through Jung Wenlong. If he couldn't handle it, then he would need the old man to come clean up after him. The old man instantly agreed and made his preparations along with the seven bosses. For this occasion, Long Chen had given a formation disc to Bao Buping. If he encountered a life and death crisis or Long Chen needed help, he could crush it, and they would appear. This kind of formation disc was a remnant of the ancient era. The method to create them had long since been lost in the flow of time. This was also the only such formation disc that the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect possessed. It was incomparably precious, and now it had been used up. The old man and the others had been waiting patiently at the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect summoning formation when they were suddenly summoned. They were shocked by what they saw. Originally, they had thought that this would be nothing more than a battle between soul transformation brats. How many waves could they possibly make? However, the scene in front of them was a far cry from what they had expected. Seeing the huge willow fighting the golden furnace, even the old man was shocked. The day-night furnace. Others might not recognize it, but the old man saw it for what it was. This furnace was the day-night furnace, an incomparably precious treasure of Pill Valley. It was supposedly something that Pill Valley's god, fallen day-night, had bestowed upon them. It was on the same level as the Brahma Divine Diagram. The void rumbled as the undying willow's branches collected into layers of defenses but was still unable to stop the day-night furnace's attack. In front of the day-night furnace, the undying willow was only able to hold it off. She couldn't retaliate. Just as she was about to reach her limit, a black light shot out. A black staff struck the tumbling day-night furnace, causing it to fly back. The old man appeared in front of Long Chen, mighty and bold. The black staff was held in his hand. Long Chen's reinforcements had finally come. Wu Guangguan, is your heaven-splitting battle sect planning on becoming enemies with everyone beneath the heavens? Roared the palace master as he caught the day-night furnace. For him to be able to call out the old man's name, the two of them were most likely from the same generation. His expression was cold and hostile. Are you saying Pill Valley represents all that is beneath the heavens? If that's the case, then yes we can be enemies, said the old man indifferently. He then turned back at Long Chen and smiled. Brat, I'm liking you more and more. If those cowards Bu Ping and Chang Hao had a tenth of your ability to cause trouble, I could die happy. Bao Bu Ping and Chang Hao both raged. The old man didn't give them the slightest face. Who would belittle their own children in front of outsiders? The old man's arrival shocked everyone. Many people didn't know who he was at first, but once the palace master spoke, they learned his identity. He, in truth, I wanted to settle this fairly. They said that this was some dragon slaughtering convention, the playing field of the junior generation, but then a bunch of shameless old ghosts crawled out of the woodwork, ghosts so virtuous that they had the face to attack juniors, even using divine items. There was no way around it. Their shamelessness was absolutely frightening. I couldn't handle it. But you, old man, are definitely able to handle it with your divine power, said Long Chen with a mischievous laugh. Both the Zhuangshan Dao sect and the Heaven Splitting Battle sect were Long Chen's home. They viewed him as their own child, so he could talk as he pleased. Long Chen knew that if he hadn't alerted the Heaven Splitting Battle sect about this, the old man would definitely become infuriated. He would carry his staff and start attacking, but the one he would be attacking would be Long Chen. The very first time he had gone to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, the old man and the bosses had warned him that he had to treat them as family. If he kept worrying about implicating the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect would not view him as their disciple. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect was very direct. Their relationships were also very direct, but they were also sensitive in their own way. Being afraid to implicate them was an insult to them. They couldn't accept such a thing. Today, 
even if Long Chen caused the heavens to collapse and needed the old man to clean up after him, the old man wouldn't get angry. Instead, he would feel a kind of pride. This was one of the aspects of the heaven-splitting battle sect that was incomprehensible to others. Long Chen's words were a giant slap in the face of these senior experts. After all, in order to draw Long Chen over, the various powers playing host to the Dragon Slaughtering Convention had sworn that Life Star experts would definitely not interfere. It was all to provoke Long Chen's competitive spirit and draw him into a trap. However, as Long Chen's power revealed itself, more and more experts were killed, and the ones that hadn't been qualified to participate in the fight had rapidly spread the news. Due to the distance, these senior experts were not clear on what exactly was happening. They only received a vague story from their people. However, they still felt uneasy. Then, while they were waiting for the good news, they received news of major deaths amongst their people, and they charged over. The moment they managed to break through the barrier, they saw their disciples slaughtered until practically none remained. So how could they possibly care about some promise? They had immediately attacked Long Chen. Now that he brought it up, they were enraged but had no way to retort. The neutral camp's experts blessed their luck that they had chosen to remain neutral. The majority of them were rather conservative and wouldn't choose a side before things were clear. Many experts they were familiar with had ended up baited by Pill Valley's powers or wanting to suck up to Pill Valley, resulting in them standing on that side. That one choice had been the difference between life and death. Wu Guangguan, Long Chen colluded with the spirit world's creatures to harm his own people and betrayed the human race. He is an enemy of the entire martial heaven continent. For you to protect him is to become enemies with the entire world. Think carefully, warned the palace master. Fuck off. Don't accuse my child of such a thing. The entire continent knows what kind of people the heaven-splitting battle sect holds. So if you want to fight, I'll accompany you. Don't make up useless excuses. The heaven-splitting battle sect has always spoken with its fists. The old man pointed his black staff at the palace master. There's no reasoning with you. Since your heaven-splitting battle sect wants to go against my pill valley. You can disappear from this world just like the Zhuanshan Dao sect, raged the palace master, slamming his hand on the Danite furnace. Old bastard, you finally admitted that the Zhuanshan Dao sect's destruction was caused by your pill valley, interjected Long Chen suddenly. The palace master stiffened, his expression changing. Just now, he had slipped up in his rage. HMPH. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's destruction was the result of the fight between the righteous and corrupt paths. It has nothing to do with Pill Valley. Don't accuse others randomly. He might have slipped up, but he hadn't directly admitted to anything. As long as he said he simply misspoke, no one could do anything. Long Chen, don't waste words with them. The heaven-splitting battle sect doesn't bother with that. Our specialty is in cutting people down, said the old man. A bright saber suddenly appeared in his hand. When that saber appeared, everyone sucked in a cold gasp of air. The Heaven Splitting Blade. Chapter 1570 Half Step Nether Passage Translator. Born to be that saber had numerous lines of divine runes on it. As the old man slashed it down, over half those divine runes lit up. Split the Heaven Seven. A huge saber image soared into the sky, shaking the cosmos. The river of stars in the sky was cut and seemed to crash down with the saber image. Long Chen's heart pounded as he watched this saber image fall. He sensed a similar will to the nine-star hegemon body art within that blade. It was also ferocious. A domineering will that wished to tear through the heavens. Boom. The old man's saber landed squarely on the palace master's Danite cauldron. A blinding light exploded along with divine energy. Fortunately, the two of them collided up in the air and everyone else immediately fled. If they were struck by those divine energy shock waves, they would have immediately died. The Danite furnace was blown back, and the palace master coughed up three mouthfuls of blood. With disbelief, he cried, You've taken the next step and reached half-step nether passage. All the life star experts' hearts shook. They looked at the old man in shock. Nether passage. It was the realm after the life star realm. It was the most terrifying realm within the cultivation world. The reason it was terrifying was because it required one to comprehend the profundities of life and death. 
which allowed them to open the gate to the netherworld. To reach the necessary level of comprehension was incredibly difficult. It was like a bottomless chasm in front of all peak life star experts. It was something they could not cross. For soul transformation experts, there was normally a 30% chance that they could reach the life star realm if given enough time and resources. After reaching the Xi'anshan realm, going from soul transformation to life star was actually the step with the highest chances of advancing. It was much easier than advancing to see expansion, foundation forging or Jade Core. The difficulty in reaching the Life Star Realm lay in obtaining enough resources and having patience. The Life Star Realm required condensing the Life Star with the Yuan Spirit as a foundation. That was what made it require so much time. You had to cultivate the Yuan Spirit, and the stronger it grew, the greater your chances of success. However, because people's talent and resources were limited, Many people who managed to reach soul transformation before the age of 50 would need to stay at the soul transformation realm for centuries or even longer in order to accumulate the required energy to advance. There was only one chance to advance to the life star realm. If a soul transformation expert failed to make the advancement, they would never be able to break through naturally again. As a result, there were many soul transformation experts who either didn't dare to make the advancement or failed their advancement due to impatience. On the other hand, the Nether Passage realm was different. What was tested wasn't one's resources or talent. What was important was their comprehension of the heavenly deos. Comprehending the profundities of life and death sounded simple. A Nether Passage expert could simply transmit their comprehension to their descendants. Couldn't they? Unfortunately. That wasn't the case. No Nether Passage expert would pass on their comprehension to their descendants. If they did that, they would lose those descendants. The reason was that in the Nether Passage realm, each person's comprehension of life and death would be different. The cultivation world had such a saying. There were as many deos as there were cultivators. Each person's Tao was unique. Each person cultivated differently. Each person's personality was different. Each person went through different experiences. This resulted in different understandings of the heavenly deos. In the end, each person's view of life and death was also different. That was why there was no way to rely on external power to charge into the nether passage realm. You could only rely on yourself. You had to find that spark of enlightenment. And that wasn't something that could be forced. It was unknown just how many amazing geniuses had had their paths severed by the merciless wall which was the nether passage realm. To comprehend the mysteries of life and death was far too difficult. This place had gathered over a hundred thousand life star experts. Of course, after Long Chen and Lu Ruian's attacks, they had been cut down to under a hundred thousand. However, despite that, despite there being around ten thousand of them that had reached the late life star realm, Hardly any of them had reached the peak of the life star realm like the palace master or the corrupt elder. They numbered in the dozens. Each of those people was a monster that had lived for who knew how many years. They had already grown numb to their own age. Each day that passed was another day of their longevity gone. They had lost hope of ever advancing to nether passage. Less than 1 in 10,000 life star experts would advance to nether passage. It was a completely monstrous proportion. As for the old man, he had yet to truly reach Nether Passage. He had only taken the first step, which was to achieve his own understanding of life and death. To truly advance, there was another requirement. This requirement was even more monstrous. He had to die once. Only by dying and being reborn could one enter Nether Passage. If you died and weren't reborn, then you would truly be dead. The chances of dying on this step were very high. As for the details regarding this, only Nether Passage experts knew them, and they were secrets that were not transmitted. So in the outside world, the Nether Passage realm was an unattainable dream. However, in that attack just now, there had not just been a will to cut through the heavens, but also an element of life and death. Such an element was something only a few experts who had long since reached the peak of life star could sense. That was why the palace master was absolutely shocked to have taken that step. Although the old man was just half-step nether passage, his height had already far surpassed the palace masters. Even though he had the Danite furnace, 
the heaven splitting blade was also an extremely powerful existence, with the old man and his half step nether passage cultivation base in control of it. There was no way for the palace master to defeat at Novaloon.com it's a good thing too. Then can we put this farce to an end? The old man smiled slightly as he looked at the heaven splitting blade. The only reason why he had managed to reach this level of comprehension into life and death was because of Long Chen. If Long Chen hadn't given him the high priest's wine, he might have been stuck at the peak of the life star realm for the rest of his life. To be safe. The old man had even brought the sect's core divine item, the heaven-splitting blade. It was also to intimidate everyone. Originally, the heaven-splitting blade could not have been used like this. It was the only thing maintaining the sect's karmic luck, and it was connected to their divine pool. Without it, their divine pool would wither. Fortunately, Long Chen had managed to bring back the nine forms of split the heavens from Devil Spirit Mountain, with the complete form of split the heavens. The Divine Spring was revived and was accumulating more energy. It was now possible to use the Heaven Splitting Blade to fight without causing the sect's destruction. However, it was only once they arrived that the old man realized he really had been right to bring it. If he hadn't brought the Heaven Splitting Blade, then even though he had reached Half Step Nether Passage, he wouldn't have any advantage against the Danite Furnace. The Palace Master's expression grew extremely ugly. He had never expected a half-step nether passage expert to arrive. The old man's spiritual yuan and the power of his yuan spirit had both far surpassed his. Although he had the Danite furnace, due to his cultivation base, he couldn't bring out its full power. Could it be that this battle was about to end just like this? Pill Valley had made such a giant move, drawing over all the eastern Xuan region's forces. If they had to leave just like this, what about their dignity? Their reputation? How would they explain themselves to the sects that had lost all their disciples? This dragon slaughtering convention had been held with tens of thousands of disciples standing on Pill Valley's side. Now less than a thousand of them remained. As for life star experts, tens of thousands of them had been killed. This was the most calamitous internal battle in all the eastern Xuan region's history. If such a terrifying battle ended in their defeat, Pill Valley and those sects would become this world's laughing stocks. Thinking of this, the palace master's expression sank. He clenched his teeth and crushed a jade tablet. Space shook, and a figure condensed in the air. When that figure appeared, the palace master and all of Pill Valley's experts bowed respectfully. Greetings, Valley Master. That person in the air looked to be in his thirties. He had shoulder-length hair and his facial features were clear enough to show a dignified face that did not lose out in handsomeness. Just by standing there, an air of immortal chi and primal chaos circulated around him. He was like a god, someone that people didn't dare to look at. He was Pill Valley's master, Yu Ziaoyan. Yu Ziaoyan's expression was dark. In fact, people could even sense killing intent. Didn't I tell you not to disturb me unless Pill Valley was about to be destroyed? shouted Yu Ziaoyan. The palace master quivered in fear. In all his years in Pill Valley, this was his first time seeing Yu Ziaoyan so furious. It seemed he had disturbed Yu Ziaoyan in the middle of a critical juncture of his seclusion. The palace master didn't even dare to speak, causing Yu Ziaoyan's fury to rise even higher. He had already reached a crucial moment, and this disturbance ruined months of his work. He even had an urge to kill the palace master. However, when he looked around, his expression softened. When he saw the old man holding the heaven-splitting blade, he seemed to understand. The heaven-splitting battle sect's heaven-splitting blade is actually being used? And you've advanced to half-step nether passage? It seems your heaven-splitting battle sect is starting to revive. But whether or not you're reviving, you shouldn't be so arrogant as to become enemies with the world. If you don't give me a reason. Don't blame me for being merciless and exterminating your heaven-splitting battle sect. Yu Ziaoyan stood with his hands clasped behind his back, staring coldly at the old man and the others. Although they couldn't sense his aura, everyone felt like their lives were in his hands, as if he could annihilate them with just a thought. That was a kind of power that caused despair. The old man snorted and was about to return when Long Chen flew over. Standing beside the old man, he sneered. Valley Master, where did your Pill Valley learn to act like upholders of justice and the saviors of the world? 
becoming enemies with the world? Can your pill valley represent the world? Are you saying that you, the valley master, can control everything that happens in the world? Yu Ziaoyan did not express any anger at Long Chen's mocking. He indifferently shook his head. The world is not one person's. It can be thought of as the will of the people, as well as the will of the heavens. No matter how high a person's cultivation base is, going against either one of those signifies death. While you, Long Chen, have gone against both, everyone in the world has a duty to make sure you are killed as soon as possible, in order to remove evil from this world. Even if we have to use a few unsightly methods, as long as the goal is for the world's continuation, even if we have to bear the name of sinners, so what how hypocritical, before, I thought you had some dignity, but now I find you're a hypocrite just like the rest, people like you are the most sickening, sneered Long Chen, these words caused all the experts to quiver, even for some of the old monsters. This was their first time ever seeing someone who dared to curse Pill Valley's master right in the face. Long Chen's guts were truly big. Chapter 1571 The Zhuangshan Tower Appears Translator Born to be the valley master didn't get angry. He merely indifferently said, Right and wrong are decided by future generations. Something can be right at one time and wrong at another time. There are many different definitions the valley master waved his hand and the day-night furnace buzzed. Its divine runes exploded with light, causing the stars to shake. Long Chen was stunned to find that the world had frozen. He wasn't able to move. Anyone who goes against the world is fated to have a bad ending. Sorry, this is the will of the heavens. The valley master shook his head helplessly as the day-night furnace grew larger until it covered the sky. Its opening shot toward Long Chen. The will of the heavens my ass. Our heaven splitting battle sect doesn't give a damn about the heavens, or our battle skill wouldn't be called split the heavens, laughed the old man. Even in front of the valley master, he was fearless. The heaven splitting blade bloomed with light and slashed toward the day night furnace. Boom. Seeing a collision of divine items that were being controlled by two peak experts, the seven bosses of the heaven splitting battle sect hastily formed a protective barrier to block the shock waves. Divine power clashed. Space twisted so powerfully that it could tear ancestral items apart. Boss Ba and the others felt like their bodies would be torn apart. This pressure was actually going straight through their barrier, and their barrier only blocked about half its power. The barrier blocked a portion of the spatial tearing pressure, but this energy was divine energy. They had to endure it with their bodies. Even Boss Ba and the others who had already reached the Life Star Realm felt immense pain. It was like their bodies were dough being kneaded by someone. However, they didn't reveal that pain. They were from the heaven-splitting battle sect even if they died. They wouldn't turn cowardly. Even if they died, they had to bear it and even act indifferent. What shocked them was that Long Chen was right beside the old man and was bearing even greater pressure than them. But he didn't seem to react at all. That brat's quite the badass boss Ba and the others gave Long Chen a thumbs up in their hearts. He really had gods. His expression was even more natural than theirs. What they didn't know was that this tearing power was essentially nothing to Long Chen. After awakening all five stars, the power of his physical body had reached a monstrous level. As for the power of divine items, he could ignore it. Evil Moon would directly absorb it. Although Evil Moon was overly full, it knew how to cooperate with Long Chen's act of badassery. It just treated it as a snack. Just this little bit wasn't that bad. The divine runes of the divine items clashed repeatedly. Huge waves rippled through space. Just half-step nether passage isn't enough to block me. Yu Ziaoyan smiled coldly and extended a hand, pressing it against the day-night furnace. Its power grew explosively, and the old man shook. He was actually forced back. The space beneath his feet crunched. The old man was actually suppressed, shocking Boss Bao and the others. Just as they were going to interfere, Long Chen slashed Evil Moon into the day-night furnace. You fuckers, I can't eat anymore, but you keep sending yourselves to me. Why didn't you come earlier raged Evil Moon? Due to consuming the energy of the blood gourd, it had no more space to devour more energy. Seeing such pure divine energy right in front of it but unable to devour it, it was going crazy. 
It was like someone starving who had eaten several huge bowls of rice and couldn't eat anymore was suddenly shown a luxurious feast of fish and meat. Long Chen might have exhausted practically all his spiritual yuan, but his physical strength was extremely terrifying. Veins bulged on his arms as he resisted with just his physical body. Yu Ziaoyan's pupils narrowed. This was definitely extraordinary. Long Chen was actually using physical strength to block divine energy. That was not a kind of power a human should possess. Long Chen had to have some kind of secret. Even Yu Ziaoyan was surprised. Long Chen was merely a brat who had just stepped into the soul transformation realm. However, the strength of his physical body could only be described as terrifying. The two of them joining hands managed to block Yu Ziaoyan's attack. But Yu Ziaoyan snorted and pressed his other hand against the Daynite Furnace. The Daynite Furnace grew larger, and its divine energy exploded like a volcano. Boom. Long Chen's arms almost exploded. His flesh was torn apart and he was sent flying. That burst of power had been too great, and even his physical body was unable to block it. The old man was also sent flying. Yu Ziaoyan was simply too powerful. Yu Ziaoyan stood in the air, his eyes closed. He was forming hand seals and chanting some kind of mysterious scripture. Chanting filled the air. The day-night furnace began to quiver like an ancient beast was slowly awakening within it. Yu Ziaoyan suddenly opened his eyes. Looking at Long Chen, he indifferently said, This is over. The day-night furnace, which had been revolving in the air, suddenly became still. It shot toward Long Chen and the old man. It wasn't particularly fast, but there was a black streak left in its path. The void is exploding startled cries rang out. The void was crumbling wherever the day-night furnace went. That was a scene of the end of the world. Child, get away. I'll show you what it truly means to split the heavens. The old man pushed Long Chen into the distance. All the heaven splitting blades runes slowly lit up. Old man, don't. Seeing the old man's posture, Boss Bao and the others all cried out. They knew what that form meant. That was the ninth form of split the heavens. The very peak of it. However, it wasn't something the old man could unleash in his current realm. Let alone the ninth form. Even the eighth form wasn't something he could control. What he was doing was igniting his Yuan spirit to forcefully unleash it and bring down his opponent with him. Just as Boss Bao and the others were about to charge forward and stop him, a pillar of light descended from the sky. Long Chen and the others' visions changed as they found themselves 10,000 miles away. Long Chen raised his head in shock to see that at some unknown time, an ancient mirror had appeared above them. The reincarnation mirror Long Chen couldn't help being delighted. He recognized that mirror. It was the Zhuanshan Dao sect's divine item, the reincarnation mirror. Just after Long Chen and the others were brought away, in the distance, the void exploded. A huge black hole appeared in the air. That black hole was like a gaping maw, crazily devouring everything present. It was thousands of miles wide. Sand and stone flew up from the ground. Huge boulders rolled toward the black hole and then flew into the air once they were closer. People hastily looked over in shock as they fled. They were afraid of being sucked in. They could feel that the black hole was extremely terrifying. Being sucked in signified death. The ground beneath it sank as it absorbed more and more earth. It was like it wanted to suck in the entire world. Fortunately, the black hole rapidly shrank. In just a few breaths, it vanished leaving behind a huge hole in the earth. It was like some giant beast had taken a bite out of it. The black hole vanished and space returned to calm. However, where it had been, there was someone new standing in front of a divine tower, the Zhuanshan Tower. Long Chen immediately recognized that tower as the Zhuanshan Dao sect's core divine item. The Zhuanshan Tower, the reincarnation mirror above Long Chen's head revolved. Countless figures flew out of it with the person at the front being the Zhuanshan Dao sect's current Xuan master, Li Xiang Xuan. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, your ability at causing trouble grows ever greater. You are the pride of my Zhuanshan Dao sect, laughed Li Xiang Xuan. He's the pride of my heaven-splitting battle sect. The old man glanced at Li Xiang Xuan with some dissatisfaction. Ha ha ha, you're right. He's the pride of your heaven-splitting battle sect. Li Xiang Xuan simply smiled. He understood the heaven-splitting battle sect's temper far too well and knew not to compete with them. 
He arrived in front of Long Chen and patted him on the shoulder. Things must have been hard on you. However, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's bitter days end here. No one will dare to bully the Zhuangshan Dao sect again. Long Chen was about to speak when Wang Zhen, Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, Mu Qingxuan, Su Mo, and the others rushed over. Seeing them, Long Chen was delighted. When he had first returned to the Zhuangshan Dao sect and seen its destruction, he had been filled with pain, thinking that they were all dead. Seeing that his comrades that had fought through life and death with him were still alive, he was incomparably moved. The Dragonblood Legion also cheered and hugged these brothers of theirs. They all felt like it had been a lifetime since they had seen each other. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples, including Wang Zhen, Hua Xiaoyu, and the others, were all touched looking at this scene. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's arrival caused an uproar on the other side. Wasn't the Zhuangshan Dao sect destroyed? How could they appear again? Just what had happened Novaloon.com at this time. In front of the majestic Zhuangshan Tower, there was an elder that Long Chen didn't recognize. That elder looked calmly at the valley master, not saying a word. Who would have thought that the Zhuangshan Dao sect would be so patient? So you were actually hiding a nether passage expert. The valley master narrowed his eyes slightly, but his voice was still indifferent. Chapter 1572 Come and bite me. Translator. Born to be we had no choice but to be patient. The higher the cliff, the higher the waves that crash against it, said that elder with a faint smile. The elder had a friendly face, and his faint smile seemed natural. It was like he was a kind senior that would never get angry or fight others. Patriarch, you're right. What we needed was a cliff so high that it could tell the waves to go fuck themselves cried out Long Chen. The valley master's expression sank slightly. He couldn't even reply to such an indirect insult without losing status. Bastard, no one taught you any manners, is that it? The Divine Flame Palace's master was the first to rush to Yu Ziaoyan's aid. Long Chen was about to retort with a few choice words when the patriarch said, My apologies, this child is too young and temperamental. I've made you laugh at us. However, I feel like this matter can end here. After all, continuing to mess around isn't beneficial to anyone. Long Chen frowned. Wasn't that too weak? He looked at Li Xiangxuan and saw the latter shrug helplessly. Stop here? Are you joking? Long Chen has slaughtered countless innocent people, harming the very core of the eastern Xuan region. Why should we stop here? Do you feel like that's possible? sneered Yu Ziaoyan. Well the patriarch's words were cut off by Li Xiangxuan, who said, Master, why don't you come here and rest? Leave this to me. All you need to do is be a fighter. I am the current Xuan master, so I'll handle it. The patriarch who was the old Xuan master, simply did not know how to be unyielding. Even Li Xiangxuan couldn't bear to continue watching it. Most likely, his master was about to try to compromise and settle this thing peacefully, but such a thing was simply impossible. The patriarch bitterly smiled, shaking his head. He didn't say anything in retort. He gave his position to Li Xiangxuan, and Li Xiangxuan pushed Long Chen in front of him. Now Long Chen is the temporary Xuan master of the Zhuangshan Dao sect Valley Master. If you have any problems, you can talk to Long Chen. Long Chen's attitude is the attitude of my Zhuangshan Dao sect whether we fight to the death or settle things peacefully. It's all up to Long Chen. Li Xiangxuan's words left no room for doubt. Everyone's expressions changed. If Long Chen was in control of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, wouldn't that mean another battle was about to erupt? All right. Then my orders are for all troops Long Chen raised Evil Moon without hesitation, about to charge forward. Li Xiangxuan almost coughed up blood. That was not what he had intended. He hastily shouted, first diplomacy before fighting. Long Chen helplessly put down Evil Moon, resting it on his shoulder. He looked at Yu Ziaoyan. Fine, diplomacy first? Although I feel like such a thing is wholly unnecessary. My mood isn't bad after finding out that the Zhuangshan Dao sect and my friends are still fine. I'll play a bit. Just now, you said I have slaughtered countless innocent people. Tell me, what makes them innocent? They wanted to kill me. Was I supposed to show my neck to them so they could kill me? Long Chen's mood was truly excellent. Although he had learned that the Xuan master was safe thanks to Zheng Wenlong's messages, 
He hadn't known the situation about the people. Now seeing them all alive, he felt a weight being lifted from his shoulders. He appeared to be a completely different person now, no longer overflowing with battle intent. He looked like a simple scoundrel without the slightest air of an expert. Bastard, can you have some upbringing? Someone like you isn't qualified to speak to the Valley Master. Even speaking to me is a loss of my status, shouted the Palace Master in place of Yu Ziaoyan. Long Chen's status truly wasn't high enough for him to speak directly to Yu Ziaoyan. The Palace Master came out at just the right time, taking his place. Fuck off. I'm not talking to you. Long Chen's feet didn't move. He didn't lift his legs and simply swung a hand. The two of them were originally hundreds of meters away, but it was like Long Chen had teleported to slap the palace master's face and then returned as if he hadn't done anything. The palace master had still been sneering derisively when Long Chen struck him, sending him flying. The sound of bones breaking rang out along with a pained grunt. His movements were clean and natural. It happened suddenly without the slightest warning. Even the Valley Master and the old Xuan Master only reacted after Long Chen's slap had struck. Everyone's jaw dropped so low that they could fit their own fists inside. It was silent. Just what was domineering? What was called arrogance? Ignoring a nether passage expert and slapping his underling, a late life star expert, in the face. In this world, where would one find someone more domineering and arrogant than Long Chen? From the moment he moved, to his slap to returning to his position. It all occurred in less time than it took to blink. In just that short time, he accomplished something that surpassed all their imaginations. Amazing. When can I also be so unbridled in front of peak experts? Seeing everyone's shocked expression, Guo Ran was filled with envy. This time, Guo Ran's display had already been dazzling enough. The dragon blood cross slash had even injured the palace master using a divine item. That was absolutely shocking. He had truly shown off, and his light even suppressed Yu Zifeng's. It could be said that his name would truly shake the four seas. However, if he had to compare himself to Long Chen, then if Long Chen was the bright moon, he wasn't even a twinkling star. He was more like a firefly. Ignoring how Long Chen had fought against three top experts without fear, how he had been unrivaled when his five stars had awakened and how he had consecutively cut down heavenly geniuses. That slap alone was enough for him to look down arrogantly upon the rest of the world. Who else but Long Chen was capable of such a feat? Long Chen had just returned to his position when a net of divine light enveloped him. It was Yu Ziaoyan. That slap wasn't just a slap across the palace master's face, but it was also a slap across his face and Pill Valley's face. This divine net came from the Danite Furnace and it was so quick that Long Chen had no chance of getting away. However, he also didn't try to dodge. He lazily rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. Divine light struck like a sword, blowing the net apart. That light had come from the Zhuangshan Tower, in conjunction with the Patriarch. Although the Patriarch's character was very yielding, his power was great. It was no wonder Li Xiangxuan had told him to just act as a fighter this time. I, Long Chen. Represent the Zhuangshan Dao sect as long as I give the word. The entire Zhuangshan Dao sect will attack you with our full power. Does an insignificant palace master have the qualifications to speak with me? Can you represent Pill Valley? If not, then stop wasting my time. Long Chen had known that the patriarch wouldn't let him be bullied. Hence, he could sneer down at the palace master who was crawling up from the ground, his head still misshapen. Just now. Long Chen had forgotten about the weakness of flame cultivators' physical bodies. He had almost killed the palace master with his slap. If you want to talk, then let's talk. If you don't want to talk, then let's fight. As for smearing my name, just stop. That's too inferior. You said I was controlled by an evil weapon and destroyed my sect? Are your heads only filled with crap? What a ridiculous story. As for the idiots who believe anything that people say. If I say I'm your father, will you kneel down and call me daddy? All of you better listen well. There are quite a few people amongst you idiots who once came to suppress my Zhuangshan Dao sect back then. I said that anyone who tries to stop our rise would be mercilessly slaughtered. However, did you think holding on to someone bigger's leg would protect you? You repeatedly sent your people against me. 
Did you think numbers would protect you? Not only could you eliminate an enemy, but you could also get a favor from someone else. It's not a bad plan. That's why you didn't care whether or not I was falsely accused. You blindly did whatever they wanted you to do. You controlled the Eastern Xuan region's public opinion. You acted like you actually believed the lies spewing from your mouths. Was it fun to invert black and white? To confuse right and wrong? Well, it wasn't very fun for me. Nevertheless, it was fun when I killed your idiot disciples. But based on your expressions, I see that wasn't very fun for you. Do you want to come and bite me? Long Chen had no fear with the Zhuanshan Tower supporting him. As for these senior experts that had come, many of them were leaders of their own sects that had sent their disciples here. Those disciples had been slaughtered to the last by the Dragonblood Legion. Seeing Long Chen's current appearance, they truly did want to bite him to death. Suddenly, a life star expert amongst the crowd roared, Long Chen, don't be so arrogant and act so righteous. Even if you were wrongly accused, you should have explained yourself instead of slaughtering everyone. The way I see it, you simply wanted to kill instead of explaining yourself. You're a murderous devil, a piece of trash, a bastard. That person was in the midst of cursing when a saber image fell, causing him to explode Novaloon.com. Chapter 1573 Fight or Fuck Off Translator Born to be the one who had attacked was the old man. The old man didn't say anything after killing that person. He didn't even bother explaining. Boss Bao laughed. This is the style of the heaven-splitting battle sect. What's the point of explaining? They were intentionally accusing Long Chen wrongly. He only has one mouth. So no matter what he says, he's going to be drowned out by your billions of mouths. How laughable. If everything could be explained, would there still be any fighting in this world? Old man, my words are right. Right. The heaven-splitting battle sect didn't get along with the rest of the world precisely because they didn't like playing such senseless scheming games. What irritated them the most was that many sects that wanted to devour others had to provide some kind of sanctimonious reason for their actions to cover up their own shamelessness. That was what made it even more shameless. Did they really think others didn't see their true intentions just because they tried to cover them up? Did they think that was enough to look arrogantly down upon others from a moral high ground and criticize them? That was why the heaven-splitting battle sect rarely came into contact with the outer world and never talked reason with other sects. If anyone provoked them, then they would simply fight. If they had the ability, then they could kill the heaven-splitting battle sect. If they didn't have that ability, then they would be the ones killed. The heaven-splitting battle sect's experts had muscles for brains. They had one principle. If you can fight, then don't waste words. Even within the heaven-splitting battle sect, when fellow members disagreed with each other, they would decide who was right with their fists. Whoever's fist was harder was right. This person was clearly guilty of falsely accusing Long Chen on purpose, but he still blamed Long Chen for not explaining himself. Long Chen might be able to bear it, but the old man couldn't. The old man shook his head. His voice was too loud and irritating. That's all. Everyone was speechless. Why did that sound like he had killed him not because he had cursed Long Chen, but because his voice was ugly. Long Chen had slapped the palace master's face in front of the valley master, while the old man had even killed a sect leader in front of him. Yu Ziaoyan's gaze was growing darker and darker. They were clearly not giving a damn about his status. However, he was a generation's expert, and he had great self-control. He coldly said, even if that's the case, Long Chen still can't change the fact that he betrayed the human race and joined hands with the spirit world's creatures to kill experts of the ancient family alliance. That's right. He killed so many of my disciples. The ancient family alliance is supposed to be allied with the righteous path against the corrupt path. However, you turned your vicious means onto us. That's completely intolerable cried an expert from the ancient family alliance. He was rather smarter than the previous person, and he said this from behind the valley master, not only showing that he was blindly following Pill Valley but also guaranteeing his safety. No one could attack him from this spot. Following his lead, more and more experts came out to demand that Long Chen pay for their disciples' lives with his own life. Long Chen. 
Do you dare to admit that you worked together with the creatures of the spirit race to kill the disciples of my ancient family alliance? Roared a sharp-mouthed life star expert. He had clearly had his family killed by Long Chen and was extremely emotional. When this person said this, everyone shut their mouths. The distant neutral camp's experts all held their breath. This was the crucial point. If this was false, then all their accusations against Long Chen would be false. Then he would be able to make a huge counterattack, and his name would be spread through history. At this time, Zi Yan had awakened and was standing in the neutral camp. Seeing the excited people around her, she was a bit confused. There were actually so many people in support of Long Chen. Based on their spiritual fluctuations, they all believed he was wrongly accused. You're correct Long Chen nodded. The neutral camp's people couldn't believe their ears. Long Chen had really joined hands with enemies to massacre the experts of the Righteous Path and Ancient Family Alliance? How could this be? All the neutral camp's disciples became disappointed. The majority of them had believed that Long Chen had been falsely accused this entire time. However, he personally admitted to it now. Although Pill Valley had disseminated some photographic jades that revealed scenes of Long Chen's fighting in the spirit world, they would rather believe that someone was framing him. They had hoped that he would manage to throw off their slander, but now that hope was extinguished. Good, good. Since you've admitted to it, then no matter what methods we used to kill you, they were necessary and right. The dragon slaughtering convention was also not based on nothing, and the people who died today died for justice. Long Chen, you must die today. Valley Master, please help uphold justice for us, roared the sharp-mouthed life star expert. That's right, please get justice for us. Valley Master, Long Chen must be held accountable. This is justice for our disciples. Other experts began to roar as well. Long Chen coldly said, I'm not done talking yet. Hear my explanation who would want to hear your explanation? We need to immediately execute him and make sure to extract his soul so that he never reincarnates. All those people beside him should be executed as well. We have to wipe them all out, shouted the sharp-mouthed life star expert. Fuck your mother. Long Chen couldn't bear it anymore and charged at him. Yu Ziaoyan's Danite furnace flickered, but the patriarch activated the Zhuanshan Tower, and a pillar of light encased Yu Ziaoyan. Yu Ziaoyan's expression changed. The Danite furnace's own divine light flowed out, forming a barrier around him. Valley Master, I'd advise you not to force me. Right now, I am listening to the current Xuan Master. What he tells me to do, I'll do. Considering you are just a clone, you cannot contend against me. I trust that you also do not wish to see this clone of yours destroyed, said the Patriarch. I don't believe you dare to do so, said the Valley Master gloomily. You're right, I don't dare. However, I am listening to Li Xiangxuan's orders, and Li Xiangxuan is listening to that little fellow. So you shouldn't be asking if I dare, but whether Long Chen dares, said the Patriarch. You. Yu Ziaoyan was enraged. His true body was still in seclusion and couldn't come out. However, even though this was just a clone, it couldn't leave him for too long. The longer it stayed away, the more it affected his true body's progression. Just having his clone summoned like this had cost him greatly. The patriarch was correct. His clone's power was less than a third of his true body's, and it could not bring out the full power of the Danite Furnace. Even though the Zhuanshan Dao sect's patriarch had only advanced to the Nether Passage realm recently, there was still a chance he could destroy his clone if they fought. Boom. Long Chen charged into the crowd, slashing Evil Moon. A dozen life star experts were sent flying. After this much time, he had recovered at least enough energy to unleash one attack. His one attack sent his blockers flying while the sharp-mouthed life star expert's ancestral item exploded along with his arms. Before he could flee, Long Chen grabbed his throat. Long Chen, come back. Don't cause a fuss, shouted Li Xiangxuan. Long Chen returned to his original location. He was still holding that sharp-mouthed life star expert noveloon.com seeing Long Chen return. The patriarch released his hand seal, and the Zhuanshan Tower's divine light dimmed. Yu Ziaoyan also pulled back the Danite furnace. However, now his face was as dark as the bottom of a pot. In all his life, he had never been so vexed. 
Long Chen had come and gone without anyone stopping him. These experts were all afraid of him and didn't dare to stop him. Instead, they directly fled. If only they had used two divine items, they might have been able to capture Long Chen alive. However, there were no nether passage experts amongst them. The experts present didn't have sharp enough insight to see that Long Chen hadn't recovered much at all. They had ended up wasting such a good opportunity. Fuck your mother. Long Chen repeatedly slapped the sharp-mouthed life star expert. When I killed people first, you said I refused to explain because I was guilty. Now that I want to explain, you say that no one cares about my explanation. Then what the fuck are you telling me to do? Long Chen was doing his best to control his power, but in his anger, he carelessly blew apart that life star expert's head. His Yuan spirit flew out. Valley Master, save me. However, he had only just flown out when Long Chen pointed a finger. A lightning arrow pierced the Yuan spirit, killing it. What do you want to explain? The seventh boss asked curiously. Fuck, I'm not explaining anymore. Explaining is useless anyways. Those who trust me don't need an explanation, and those who don't trust me won't believe it. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder and spat on the ground. These people were too infuriating. Pointing Evil Moon at the experts in front of him, Long Chen roared. All you bastards, listen well. I'm only going to say this once. The spirit world's creatures once helped out the martial heaven continent, and we are indebted to them. However, some idiots randomly read some history books and believed them without realizing that history is written by the victors. Those history books are like prostitutes talking about how pure and beautiful they were back in the day. The dirty parts were all covered. Whoever believes that crap is just an idiot. The true history was already lost in the river of time. Of course, you can believe me if you want to, or you cannot believe me. But don't talk to me about proof. I have always acted openly. If I do something good, perhaps I might not admit to it, but when I do bad things, I always dare to admit to it. If you want to be enemies with me, then come. Other than having one life and one blade, I also have over 12,000 life and death brothers. So, fight or fuck off. Fight or fuck off. Fight or fuck off. Fight or fuck off. The dragon blood legion's hot blood was ignited and the roaring of over 12,000 dragonblood warriors shook the sky. Who would have thought that the eastern Xuan region is so lively? It's so gratifying. Just as the dragonblood legion's angry roars were shaking the sky, a soft voice rang out. A chariot slowly flew over. Chapter 1574 The Martial Heaven Alliance's head arrives. Translator. Born to be the grand carriage was carried by a giant bird, which slowly flew in front of everyone. When the carriage got closer, people finally recognized its symbol. It was a symbol of a copper coin with a blue border. It was circular on the outside and had a square inside, representing the image of the Martial Heaven Continent's central plains. This was the symbol of the Martial Heaven Alliance, and its immortal character for Alliance was written in the center of the square. Seeing that character, everyone's hearts shook. If one had to compare it, the symbol of the Eastern Xuan region's branch alliance had their character imprinted in the spot of the Eastern Xuan region, on the left side. Thus, for this Golden Alliance character to be written in the center, it represented the Central Xuan region's head alliance. Four alliance masters from the four branches of the Martial Heaven Alliance could only use silver characters in their symbol. Hence, this Golden character explicitly showed the identity of the one in the carriage. Only the Martial Heaven Alliance's true alliance head was qualified to sit in it. The Nine Wing Killin Eagle cried out an expert in shock as he recognized the identity of the bird pulling the carriage. It was a giant bird covered in scales. There wasn't a single feather on its body, causing it to appear very bizarre. When it spread its two wings, illusions appeared around them, making it look like there were nine pairs of wings superimposing over each other. Rumor was that the Nine Wing Killin Eagle possessed the bloodline of the ancient divine beast, the Killin. This one was at the 11th rank, corresponding to the human race's life star realm. However, all the life star experts felt a chill upon seeing it. It was an extremely terrifying existence. Rumor was that the Nine Wing Killin Eagle was originally a Xuan beast, but for some unknown reason, had been expelled from the Xuan beasts and almost went extinct. 
As for this particular nine wing killing eagle, its status was special. Even the Xuan beasts didn't dare to do anything to it. That was because it had an extremely intimidating master. It pulled the carriage until it stopped above everyone, and the door to the carriage slowly opened. A beautiful woman in an imperial dress walked out of the carriage, her hair tied up with a violet gold phoenix hairpin. Everyone's expressions changed. Many of them had fear and shock in their eyes and involuntarily hid behind Yu Ziaoyan. She was the alliance head of the Martial Heaven Alliance. She looked to be in her thirties, with sword-like eyebrows and a high nose bridge, appearing both beautiful and heroic. Her formidable appearance would not lose to any man. She looked to be as high and mighty as an empress. Did you think hiding behind him would make things fine? Get out here. The woman glared at the elder hiding behind Yu Ziaoyan. Her bark caused that person to quiver. He nervously walked out and bowed deeply toward her. The Eastern Xuan Region's Branch Alliance Master Zhao Yongqian greets the Alliance head. Once he said this, everyone confirmed this woman's identity. Other than a few people, none of them had known who the Alliance head of the Martial Heaven Alliance was. The expert in charge of all the Righteous Path sects was actually a woman. HMPH. So you still remember I am the Alliance head. Good. Good. This time, my seclusion lasted 300 years. Did you think I was already dead and you could act without any reservations? Demanded the woman. Her gaze was like a sharp blade filled with killing intent. Alliance head Pu. This matter started you Ziaoyan. Shut up. This is an internal matter of the Martial Heaven Alliance. And outsiders cannot interfere. If you don't like it, call out your true body and let's have a fight. She shouted. Long Chen was startled. This alliance head was quite terrifying to not even give face to the valley master. Her temper was also quite explosive. Who would have thought that the Martial Heaven Alliance was actually led by such a tough alliance head? The valley master's expression twitched with anger, but he knew that this woman in front of him was a battle-crazed woman. She was the same as the heaven-splitting battle sect's people. If she wanted to fight, she would fight. If he pushed her, she would definitely attack. This clone of his wouldn't be able to fight back against her at all. And since his true body was at a crucial juncture and couldn't be moved, he had no choice but to endure. Yu Ziaoyan, I didn't think that you would be so shameless as to take advantage of my seclusion. Fortunately, I came out early. Otherwise, if I, Hu Jinying, had stayed in seclusion for another hundred years, wouldn't the entire Martial Heaven Alliance have been turned into a branch of your pill valley? The woman's aura began to rise. Her furious killing intent terrified others. This alliance head was both powerful and domineering. Even in front of experts like the old man, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's patriarch, and the valley master, she was still doing what she wanted. Alliance head Pu, what are you talking about? Asked the valley master gloomily. Pu Jinying waved her hand tossing out a sack. Even before it landed on the ground, it opened. There were dozens of heads in the sack, eliciting startled cries. These heads all belonged to Life Star experts. What am I talking about? Don't play this game with me. All the fish you bought have been slaughtered by me, and amongst them were two branch alliance masters. Yu Ziaoyan, you really have some ability. Three of the four branch alliance masters were bought by you. I admire your skills sneered Pu Jinying. When the Eastern Xuan Region's Branch Alliance Master saw those heads, he turned as pale as paper. He recognized most of these heads and he knew he was about to join them. The Branch Alliance Master knelt on the ground and begged. Alliance head, disciple was just possessed, enticed by Pill Valley. But there was nothing I could do. My family's lives are in their hand slander. Yu Ziaoyan furiously waved his hand and a powerful gust blew apart the Branch Alliance Master. His soul dissipated. Yu Ziaoyan had originally been angry just at being summoned. Then, because this was just his clone without the power of his real body, he was continuously suppressed. He had reached his limit. For the Branch Alliance Master to suddenly make such an accusation against him, even though he was slow to anger, he was infuriated. Perhaps it was true that Pill Valley had bought him but it had been a mutually beneficial cooperation. The Branch Alliance Master had also benefited greatly. When had Pill Valley ever controlled his family? Long Chen was refreshed inside. They deserved everything that came to them. 
It was time for Yu Ziaoyan to taste what it felt like to be framed by others. He had long since grown tired of and indifferent to Pill Valley's method of smearing his name. However, who could really not care? It was just that there was no way to stop it. It was just like what Boss Bao had said. Long Chen just had one mouth. While they had billions of them and some were particularly big, he could only accept being accused of the wildest crimes. Saying that he didn't care was just making himself feel better. You're clearly killing him to shut him up. Yu Ziaoyan, you're just trying to cover up the truth. I never expected that you, the Grand Valley Master of Pill Valley, would be so despicable. Pill Valley claims to be distanced from the cultivation world, and outside of the struggle between the righteous and corrupt paths. But now, you've colluded with the corrupt path, as well as bought the higher-ups of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Just what kind of shameful plot are you scheming? Cried out Long Chen with righteous indignation. It was like he was worried things weren't chaotic enough. That's right. My boss is right. Just looking at your current sinister and tyrannical appearance, I can tell that you're a crafty and evil person. Even such a person is fit to be Pill Valley's master. Guo Ran joined in. After all, this was the best opportunity to draw attention to himself. A chance to point at Pill Valley's master and curse him in the nose didn't come more than once in a lifetime. Most importantly, this situation was perfect for showing off. It was efficient, quick, painless, and a perfect example of low risk and high reward. Guo Ran naturally wouldn't let this chance escape. You're all courting death. Yu Ziaoyan had never been so infuriated in all his years. His aura rose, and black and white energy began to surge out of him. The void shook around him, heaven and earth changed color, and a terrifying pressure crashed down, causing everyone's expressions to change. Yu Ziaoyan was truly infuriated. All the fury he had been suppressing was being released. He felt like if he tried holding it back any longer, he would explode. Long Chen was too hateful. Each of his words was extremely humiliating to Yu Ziaoyan. He had completely lost the dignity of Pill Valley's master Novaloon.com as Yu Ziaoyan's crazy aura spread. All the experts shook. They all collapsed on the ground and knelt in fear. That was a kind of respect toward death. Even the neutral camp's experts were affected and knelt. Even the elusive music Immortal Palace's disciples were pale and tottering, on the verge of collapse. Only Zi Yan was calmly watching without the slightest expression. It was unknown what she was thinking. As that aura grew stronger, even life star experts quivered as they knelt. They didn't have the slightest ability to resist. The black and white energy around Yu Ziaoyan intertwined. The white energy represented life, while the black energy represented death. He was just like the ruler of life and death. In this space, any life could be taken with just a thought. This was the terrifying life and death domain of Nether Passage experts. Within this domain, they were rulers. No one could resist. Long Chen stood calmly as he watched Yu Ziaoyan release his aura. He sensed a kind of energy that had transcended mortal power. Rather than power, this seemed more like a kind of law. This pressure was useless against Long Chen. It also lost effect against the Dragonblood warriors. They had walked the thin line between life and death countless times and had long since grown accustomed to it. They were indifferent to the fear of death. This pressure was truly terrifying. But in the end, it came from one man. On the other hand, they had repeatedly gone against heavenly tribulation. They had faced heavenly pressure. Seeing the life star experts kneeling, the dragonblood warriors were filled with pride. Long Chen had made them continuously go against their heavenly tribulations. And now they were reaping the rewards. Each of them could look down arrogantly on these people. Boss, help me. I, I don't think I can hold on any longer said Guo Ran, his body twitching. Chapter 1575 A Competition of Experts Translator Born to be calm. Smile. Smile a bit more naturally hearing Guo Ran's plea. Long Chen smiled helplessly. He placed an arm on Guo Ran's shoulder, and lightning sparked. Guo Ran's body immediately stiffened. His hair stood on end, and that smile froze. He stood there, straight as a bamboo pole. On the surface, he looked very much at attention. Are you trying to scare a child? If you are, you've managed to achieve your goal. So you can put away your aura. If you want to fight, 
then all you need to do is nod your head. When it comes to fighting, I, Hu Jinying, have never been afraid of anyone. Hu Jinying looked indifferently at Yu Ziaoyan as his aura rose. She clasped her hands behind her back, not at all moved by his power. Long Chen, don't worry, she's family. The old man Iyu the seventh boss was in the midst of whispering to Long Chen when he was sent flying by the old man's staff. You're talking too much. The old man glanced at the seventh boss. That warning gaze was clear. Long Chen was a bit confused, not knowing why the seventh boss would suddenly be beaten for nothing. At this moment, Yu Ziaoyan's rising aura vanished. Only then did others manage to stand again. However, their faces were all ashen. Nether Passage experts were absolutely terrifying. Even their previous exchanges had been nothing more than probing blows. Nether Passage experts were in control of life and death. Such people were already close to the gods. Hu Jinying, what do you think you're doing? If there are any problems, we can talk it out. My Pill Valley will see what we can do. If you want to fight, then my true body will immediately come and we can have a real battle, said Yu Ziaoyan coldly. He was clearly expressing his attitude. If Hu Jinying forced him, then he would summon his true body. HMPH, don't use your true body to threaten others. If your true body could come, it'd have long since come. You want to talk it out? Fine. In the future, keep your claws cleaner and don't reach them out randomly. I, Hu Jinying, have not died yet. Long Chen belongs to a sect of my Martial Heaven Alliance and is one of my disciples. This matter can end here, said Hu Jinying. Hearing that, Long Chen was surprised. This Hu Jinying was actually intent on protecting him? That was completely going against Pill Valley. Impossible. In the spirit world, Long Chen began Yu Ziaoyan. Stop talking about the spirit world. It's impossible for you to drown out the real history by spreading fake books and stories. I know that there are at least 10 people here who know the truth about the spirit world. It's just that no one wants to mention them. Do you not know all the immoral things you've done? If that's the case, then I won't mind telling the story of the spirit world and martial heaven continent, letting these children who have been overdosed in your false history learn the truth, said Hu Jinying without yielding in the slightest. Hearing her say that, everyone's hearts shook. Hu Jinying was the head of the martial heaven alliance and a nether passage expert. She had to know some secrets. Most people had only heard public stories about the spirit world. Those stories said that the spirit world had been allied with the martial heaven continent, but in the human race's most dangerous moment, the spirit race had betrayed them, stabbing them in their back, which resulted in them becoming mortal enemies. However, there were no detailed accounts regarding why the spirit world had betrayed the human race. Just now, Long Chen had said that he would explain, but the sharp-mouthed life star expert hadn't given him a chance to, and Long Chen had killed him in his fury. After that interruption, Long Chen had lost the desire to explain, disappointing them. Now that Hu Jinying said this though, everyone was sure there was something suspicious about it. Long Chen always acted openly. He disdained lying. If he had simply denied that he had killed humans in the spirit world, no one would have been able to do anything to him, especially since he was worshipped by countless disciples. However, he hadn't done that. Just from that. It was possible to see his character. He had to have his own reason. That reason most likely related to the secret Hu Jinying had mentioned to Yu Ziaoyan. Alliance head, we very much want to know the truth, said Zi Yan amongst the neutral camp. You're the apprentice of the elusive music immortal palaces Jun Ruolin. Hu Jinying did not reply. Instead, she asked Zi Yan's origins. That's right. Disciple Zi Yan greet senior Zi Yan bowed. Hu Jinying nodded. You're worthy of being from the elusive music immortal palace. This karmic luck makes one envious. Do you really want to know the truth? If you learn it, your master might get angry. What? Why? Asked Zi Yan. Hu Jinying, you shouldn't talk rubbish. If you want to talk, you should bring out proof and pay attention to your status. Shouted Yu Ziaoyan. Valley master. Suddenly. The Flame Divine Palace's master ran over dejectedly to Yu Ziaoyan and handed him a photographic jade. Looking at what was depicted, Yu Ziaoyan's expression immediately changed. He suddenly roared at Li Xiangxuan. 
Zhuangshan Dao sect. What is this? Everyone was curious as to what the photographic jade had recorded to make Yu Ziaoyan suddenly act like this. It's nothing. I just entrusted the Huaian sect with spreading the truth of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's destruction to the public, letting all the Eastern Xuan region's people know exactly who did this. That way, they can't accuse Long Chen of doing it. What? Does that dissatisfy you? Asked Li Xiangxuan politely. Are you curious about how a fight amongst divine items could be recorded so completely? Then you can only blame yourself for underestimating the reincarnation mirror. Although it's only a quasi-divine item, it's not used for fighting. It has its own special abilities, allowing it to record everything that happens in the Zhuangshan Dao sect even if you used the Brahma divine diagram, even if you screened off the heavens, even if you threw space into chaos, it's all useless. That is its heaven-defying ability. Valley Master, it was your pill valley that participated in the destruction of my Zhuangshan Dao sect and then accused Long Chen of the crime. Don't you think you need to give an explanation to my Zhuangshan Dao sect in front of all these people? Everyone became dumbfounded, including the experts behind Yu Ziaoyan. How is that possible? If Pill Valley participated in the destruction of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, can they even be called neutral? The neutral camp's experts were even more stunned. This news was too shocking. Was Pill Valley really scheming against Long Chen? They wanted to make the public opinion of him as low as possible and then borrow everyone's hands to kill him. But why would Pill Valley do this? How does killing Long Chen benefit them? I heard that Long Chen's conflict with Pill Valley stemmed from the Pill Tower. The Pill Tower's master wanted Long Chen's treasures. So he sent people to hunt him down in the Four Nations ancient remnant. The neutral camp's experts immediately exploded into a discussion, bringing up all sorts of points. Although they didn't know the full details, they chose to trust Long Chen. When they looked at this situation from Long Chen's viewpoint, many things became clear. Who did this? Who was so brazen as to secretly take out a divine item and participate in a secular battle roared Yu Ziaoyan, glaring at the palace master. Valley master. I, the palace master instantly became terrified. Bastards. How brazen. Yu Ziaoyan furiously waved his hand, and the palace master's throat was caught in his hand. The palace master, a peak life star expert, had no ability to resist. Valley master, spare me, begged the palace master. Unfortunately for him, Yu Ziaoyan ignored his begging. The day night furnace behind Yu Ziaoyan swallowed the palace master. After a moment, the palace master's wail of despair came from within it before everything fell silent. I will carefully investigate this matter. If traitors appeared in my pill valley, I will definitely give you an explanation. But if that's not the case and someone is attempting to frame pill valley, well, although we are neutral, we're not someone just anyone can slander. Goodbye. The day-night furnace broke through the void, and Yu Ziaoyan's figure vanished. When Yu Ziaoyan returned to pill valley, he immediately slammed the chair in front of him, turning it into dust. His expression was twisted. He no longer had his calm air. How infuriating. How did you mess up so badly that you left behind such irrefutable evidence? You couldn't even handle something as insignificant as this, roared Yu Ziaoyan, his voice shaking the entire room. The palace master was standing in front of Yu Ziaoyan, completely safe and sound. If Long Chen and the others could see this, they would definitely prostrate themselves in admiration toward their acting abilities. It was an accident. No one would have expected that a quasi-divine item would have such a heaven-defying ability. Even the Brahma Divine Diagram screening was ineffective against it. That bastard Li Xiangxuan is too crafty, said the palace master helplessly. Yu Ziaoyan took a deep breath, and his anger slowly faded. He returned to calm. Go find a few unlucky fellows in the Flame Divine Palace. Your two Vice Palace Masters will probably have to be tossed out along with them. Valley Master, Yu Ziaoyan waved his hand, shaking his head. This matter has grown too big. We must give an explanation to the Eastern Xuan region. Not only do they have to die, you, Valley Master, you, you don't need to die, but your identity will have to die. Otherwise, there'd be no way to settle these waves. Other than that, send someone to the Zhuangshan Dao sect to apologize and offer compensation to settle this. 
We even need to compensate them. Nonsense. How could we not compensate them when we destroyed their sect? Go. Find someone good at bargaining. But be prepared to be taken for a killing. They won't let us off cheaply. Said Yu Ziaoyan helplessly. He had nowhere to vent his rage. There was nothing he could do. Once the palace master left, Yu Ziaoyan took a deep breath. Long Chen, I'll let you be pleased for now. We'll settle our debts later. Chapter 1576 Kujin Ying's Warning Translator Born to be once Pill Valley's people retreated. Everyone was left dumbfounded. The corrupt experts were especially pale. Pill Valley had actually abandoned them. In the face of the terrifying head of the Martial Heaven Alliance, the corrupt elder's expression was unsightly. The two were mortal enemies. However, without the blood gourd, he couldn't even run from her. People from the corrupt path, listen well. Tell that old ghost Z went on to grow a brain and not be used by others. If he wants to cooperate with others, then with his little bit of intelligence, even his bones will be swallowed by others without leaving the slightest trace. Take your people and scram, shouted Kujinying. The reason why Kujinying sat in the highest position of power in the Martial Heaven Alliance wasn't just because of her martial power. It was also because of her intelligence. She knew that Pill Valley was using the corrupt path as a weapon. Although she had only just come out of seclusion, she had already figured out some of Pill Valley's schemes. First, the Pill Valley had used the carrot and stick approach to try and control the corrupt path. Thereafter, their hands stretched into the interior of the Martial Heaven Alliance, and it let them gain control of many sects. The sects that refused to listen to them ended up attacked by the corrupt path. Alone and without reinforcements, they were destroyed. The corrupt path had been Pill Valley's tool to draw more righteous sects under their wing. These particular corrupt experts were wholly insignificant to Kujinying. The blood gourd had already been destroyed by Long Chen. So there wasn't much difference between killing them and not killing them. However, by releasing them, it was possible to send a warning to the corrupt path. Although it might not stop the corrupt path from working with Pill Valley, they wouldn't end up becoming Pill Valley's dogs in the future. That was her only goal. Even if she had to release these people, it was worth it in the long run. The corrupt experts had not expected Kujinying to let them off. They bowed slightly toward her before leaving. Although Kujin Ying was their enemy, the corrupt path did not conceal their worship for the strong. Even if it was an enemy, as long as it was a powerful enemy, they would be respected. Once the corrupt experts had left, Kujin Ying's gaze swept across the ancient races. She smiled coldly. I heard the ancient races have become quite arrogant during my seclusion. You're complaining that your territory isn't large enough and you want to expand? How about my Martial Heaven Alliance just gives you half our territory so that each member of the ancient races has their own mountain? How does that sound? During these past few years, the ancient races had been rapidly expanding their territory, not satisfied with what they had. Some smaller sects had been driven away by them, while some stronger sects had disbanded thanks to Pill Valley's coordination. Only some tough sects who didn't bend to the carrot or the stick had gone against the ancient races despite Pill Valley's mediation. After all, no one wanted to leave their home. As a result, those sects were suddenly attacked by the corrupt path, while the reinforcements from other sects were one step too late to help. Those sects were either destroyed or had their cores so badly damaged that they were forced to disband. Now that Kujin Ying had brought this up, those ancient race experts' expressions sank. Saying that they would each have a mountain was clearly mocking them for having few people but being extremely greedy. However, even their powerful life star experts were intimidated by Kujinying and didn't dare to even let out a fart. Don't think that with the support of the Xuan beasts and the favor of Pill Valley that you can do whatever you want. Pill Valley won't help you unless it benefits them as well and the Xuan beasts have never publicly expressed any opinion of you. Don't think you have so much support. Speaking of which, go tell the Xuan beasts that Hu Shaolin was slain by my disciple. If they want to find someone for revenge, they can find me, said Kujinying. Long Chen was startled. Hadn't Kujinying just arrived? How did she seem to know about everything? You're underestimating the life and death Dao. Nether passage experts that have gone through the nether gate can randomly examine other people's souls. 
Only a few people can avoid her probing, explained Li Xiangxuan upon seeing his shock. Long Chen's heart shook. The Nether Passage realm was even more terrifying than he had imagined. So she was actually able to peer into other people's memories without them even being aware. That was beyond his current comprehension. At the start, Long Chen hadn't felt that the Valley Master was so powerful. However, as he learned more and more about her level, Long Chen realized he had been too foolish. The Nether Passage realm wasn't something that he could currently comprehend. Little fellows from the ancient family alliance, remember that you're allied with the righteous path. Don't let others intentionally cause conflict amongst us. Of course, I'm not saying this because I'm afraid of you. I just want to make things clear. Cooperation should be sincere. If we can't cooperate, then we can break up. It doesn't matter. But the Martial Heaven Alliance's cooperation with the Ancient Family Alliance is based on both our interests. Although we've received your help, you've also obtained a generous return. Now that I, Kujining, have come out of seclusion, the decisions of the Martial Heaven Alliance are decided by me. Go ask Di Long if he wants to end this cooperation or not. After telling off the ancient races, Hu Jinying turned to the ancient family alliance. Yes, disciple will definitely transmit your words. However, Long Chen's actions in the spirit world, don't you think they merit? An explanation an elder from the ancient family alliance walked out, neither arrogant nor subservient. It seemed that he had a certain level of status in the ancient family alliance. He had some skill with words. Originally, he was going to say that Long Chen's actions merited compensation, but he had changed it to an explanation at the last moment. Curiously, Hu Jinying did not get angry. Instead, she amicably said, There are many things that you don't know. That means you haven't been bought by Pill Valley. That's why it's best that you do not learn a few things. As for Long Chen's actions in the spirit world, he has his own reasons for those. If you want an explanation, then Long Chen. Give them their explanation. Pu Jinying beckoned to Long Chen, startling him. He took out Devil Moon again, and the space behind him shook as he prepared to summon his divine ring again. Brat, I wasn't telling you to fight. Explain the reasons for your actions. Pu Jinying's face instantly darkened. Long Chen was too battle hungry. Oh, that kind of explanation said Long Chen apologetically. He had misunderstood her meaning. He had thought she wanted him to beat them. He hesitated. Can I really? Pu Jinying looked into the distance as if she hadn't heard him. When he looked at the old man, the old man went to greet the old patriarch. No one looked at him. What the fuck is this? They don't want to tell the secrets. So they're making me do it. Wondered Long Chen. This was clearly a trap. However, he could only leap into it. The neutral camp's people were looking at him with anticipation. This was the secret that they wanted to know the most right now. Even Zi Yan was looking at him. This relates to ancient secrets. Since I didn't participate in the ancient wars, what I'm about to say merely represents my single viewpoint. Whether or not you believe it is up to you. Long Chen's gaze swept over everyone. He gravely said, The human race is greatly indebted to the spirit world. The reason I protected the spirit world was twofold. One was as thanks for a favor while one was making up for the human race's debt to them. An uproar exploded amongst the crowd. For countless years, the only stories of the spirit world were that they were despicable traitors. Now that they heard the exact opposite, many people were unable to accept this information. That's impossible. Long Chen, you're definitely making up nonsense, roared an ancient race junior generation expert who had survived the massacre. Long Chen shrugged. I already said it's up to you if you want to believe me. Don't ask me to bring out any proof. Because such a thing is absolutely meaningless. I always act according to my heart. And I do whatever I want. I disdain lying and making up excuses for my actions. If you want to take revenge against me, then come. I will definitely accompany you to the end. But remember this. If you have an issue with me, come at me. If anyone dares to touch the people by my side then they'll have touched my reverse scale, which will anger me. When I get angry, even I don't know what I'll do, so it'd be best if you were more reserved. After Long Chen said this, killing intent ignited in his eyes once more. 
The flames of fury in his heart were once more set aflame. Even Long Chen didn't know why his temper had grown more berserk. He was easier to anger now. He didn't know if it was caused by Evil Moon or not. He had once tried to probe Evil Moon about this issue. But Evil Moon had immediately retorted angrily that he was like this from the start. It had nothing to do with the issue. At this point, Long Chen had clearly killed so many people. He had killed the main instigators. And he couldn't even keep count of how many heavenly geniuses he had slain. However, whenever he thought of how his opponents had dared to target his parents and torture Cloud, his killing intent immediately surged, and he wanted to kill them all. As soon as Long Chen's killing intent was released, that disciple didn't dare to make another sound. He felt himself be locked down by an air of death. The experts around him vanished, leaving him to face Long Chen alone. Even that many experts together were unable to feel safe in front of him. They sensed a terrifying pressure from Long Chen that was on the same level as the pressure from Nether Passage experts. It had felt like whether they would live or die was based on a single whim from Long Chen. I trust Long Chen. Don't ask me why. Trust is trust. A rank 9 celestial suddenly came out in support of Long Chen. I also trust him. I trust his character. He definitely wouldn't lie. I believed in Long Chen from the start. I never doubted him. Following one person taking the lead, more and more experts from the neutral camp came out in support of Long Chen. The main reason why they had stood in the neutral camp was more or less because they had some feelings of worship toward Long Chen. Otherwise, they'd have long since yielded to the pressure of their families or sects to join Pill Valley's camp. They didn't want to submit to Pill Valley, but they also didn't dare to directly support Long Chen. Just choosing the neutral camp could barely count as silent support for Long Chen. Now that Long Chen had explained the truth about the spirit world, almost all the neutral camp's experts chose to believe him. That was because Long Chen was an extremely trustworthy person. He never lied. With other powerful figures of high status also supporting him, there was even less chance that he was lying. Can I ask if the Dragonblood Legion is still accepting new members? Suddenly. A person cried out nervously and excitedly. Countless disciples immediately went silent, holding their breaths with anticipation. Chapter 1577 Invitation Translator Born to be my apologies, but the Dragonblood Legion isn't recruiting. We are one solid entity forged through battle. Whether it's the first generation Dragonblood Warriors or the second generation Dragon Mark Warriors, our emotions were born and baptized through blood and fire. There's no way for others to gain such a relationship with us. Joining the Dragonblood Legion is not a matter of how high your cultivation base or how great your talent is. All the 12,000 members of the Dragonblood Legion have one heart. Even if we wanted to accept you, without having gone through blood and fire, life and death, there's no way we can be united. So thank you for thinking so highly of me, but I'm sorry to say that I cannot accept, said Long Chen. Although there were several Empyreans amongst the neutral camp, Long Chen couldn't accept them. It was as he said. The Dragonblood Legion was like a weapon forged together, and their forger was countless trials and tribulations. They had been smelted together by the merciless world with its cruel flames. After that forging, it was difficult for new people to join them. Although they had felt that the chances were low, hearing this decisive answer still disappointed countless people. However, don't be too disappointed. The Dragonblood Legion isn't accepting new members, but the Zhuanshan Dao sect's large gates are open to any upright and open-hearted people. Although it's not joining the Dragonblood Legion, joining the Zhuanshan Dao sect will still allow us to fight shoulder to shoulder against our enemies, said Long Chen. Their eyes lit up. That was true. By joining the Zhuanshan Dao sect, wouldn't they have more chances to interact with Long Chen? Perhaps in the future, there would be a chance that they could join the Dragonblood Legion. I want to join the Zhuanshan Dao sect. My sect is too cowardly and ordered me to join Sha Guangyan's side. Such weak and cowardly higher-ups almost caused me to die. Fortunately, I was smart enough to choose the neutral camp, or I wouldn't exist any longer. If I had listened to my sect's orders, I'd have lost my life. So this life was won by me. I want to leave my sect and join the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Would the Zhuanshan Dao sect want a traitor like me? Asked a rank 9 celestial. 
His voice quivered slightly, but he said what countless other disciples wanted to say. Of the disciples present, over 80% of them came from sects that had told them to join Sha Guangyan's side. Some sects had even ordered them to join that side, or they would be viewed as criminals who had betrayed their sects. However, geniuses were naturally rebellious. It was hard to change what they had set their minds on. Not all of them chose to stand on the neutral side because they believed Long Chen was falsely accused. There was also another portion that had simply been irritated by their sect's orders and so they deliberately went against them. However, now they felt a burst of fear, as well as anger toward their higher-ups. Those higher-ups had almost sent them to their deaths. Betraying one sect made them traitors, and others would look down on them. That was a name that they would never be able to get rid of in their life. However, who wouldn't want to join the Zhuanshan Dao sect? They had the old patriarch, a nether passage expert, as well as Long Chen's Dragonblood Legion. Who could stop their rise now? Anyone who joined the Dragonblood Legion would instantly have their status rise. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's brilliance would surpass all expectations for sure. Joining them was definitely the wisest decision. However, would the Zhuanshan Dao sect accept them? People who had betrayed their sect. The Tao is endless, while love should be limitless. The Zhuanshan Tao sect's cultivation is based on cultivating the Tao. The Tao contains all things, so we naturally have room to expand. As long as your hearts remain righteous, then no matter your status or talent, my Zhuanshan Tao sect will welcome you. Li Xiangxuan smiled amicably. However, inside, he was extremely moved. His palms were sweaty. He knew the Zhuanshan Dao sect was truly rising. Many thanks, Xuan Master. Disciple wishes to join the Zhuanshan Dao sect. A rank 9 celestial flew over and kowtowed toward Li Xiangxuan. I also want to. I also hey. Don't push me. Whose hands are those? If you dare to touch me again, I'll kill you right now. Everything became chaotic as the heavenly geniuses of the neutral camp fought to fly to the front. Tens of thousands of experts were rushing over. 60 to 70 percent of those experts were rank 9 celestials. Liu Kang's smile looked like a flower in bloom. There was no way to differentiate them into inner and outer sect disciples. These people were all geniuses amongst geniuses, experts amongst experts. The Zhuanshan Dao sect had now picked up countless treasures. No, the treasures had taken the initiative to jump into their hands. It wasn't even possible to pick them all up. Wang Zhen couldn't help but bitterly smile. He looked at Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, and the others. He saw a similar sadness in their eyes. They were originally the Zhuanshan Dao sect's top geniuses. However, once these people joined, they would immediately be drowned out. Li Xiangxuan patted Wang Zhen on the shoulder. Don't be dejected. You will always be the heavenly geniuses of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. No one will surpass you. Of course, that's on the precondition that you don't compare yourself to Long Chen. Xuan Master, disciple isn't jealous. Wang Zhen hastily tried to explain himself. Li Xiangxuan waved his hand. All of you are disciples I've seen growing up. Other than that little monster Long Chen, I'm clear on everything in your hearts. Don't worry, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's karmic luck is soaring into the sky. As witnesses to the Zhuanshan Dao sect's rise. You are the favorites of this generation of the Zhuanshan Dao sect once everything's over. I will activate the karmic luck blessing. You'll all have a chance of becoming Empyreans, said Li Xiangxuan confidently. His confidence stemmed from Long Chen. Long Chen had truly been ruthless during the dragon slaughtering convention. Practically, all the eastern Xuan region's experts had been drawn over, and over a hundred sects had been destroyed during this convention. The world was changing because of him. Karmic luck had become increasingly turbulent. With so many geniuses joining the Zhuanshan Dao sect, they would bring all the eastern Xuan region's karmic luck with them. Li Xiangxuan was so excited not just because of all these genius disciples joining, but also the endless karmic luck they were bringing with them. That was the true priceless treasure. There were even two Empyreans who decided to join the Zhuanshan Dao sect after hesitating for a long time. The elders almost went crazy with joy. As more disciples joined the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the senior experts from the other sects turned ashen. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's rise was now set in stone. 
No one could possibly stop them now. The ancient race experts didn't want to keep watching this, and they left dejectedly. The ancient family alliances experts also left in groups. In the end, there were only a few experts of the righteous path that refused to leave. Li Xiangxuan knew what they wanted. He said, My Zhuangshan Dao sect cultivates the Dao. Although we can only understand the slightest fraction of the true Dao, we know how to distinguish right and wrong. This time, Long Chen really went a bit too far. When my Zhuangshan Dao sect calms down, we'll make sure to send over some humble gifts as an apology. Li Xiangxuan was very experienced with how the world worked. He knew that these people were afraid of the Zhuangshan Dao sect causing trouble for them once they grew stronger. However, his words were humble, expressing his attitude. The things in the past were in the past. He wouldn't bother them over it. They could all just get along. His last sentence in particular was giving them face. After all, Long Chen had killed all their disciples. Offering some compensation was all right since they were the ultimate winners. We wouldn't dare to accept. Once the Zhuangshan Dao sect rebuilds, please send a message to me, Chi Yuneo. I promise to come celebrate with you, said a smiling elder. Long Chen's face twitched. How shameless did someone have to be to act like this? Just now, this person had been shouting to kill him. Just how fake were people? For profit, a person's two-faced nature would reveal itself. Even their emotions were fake. Just what was the point of their cultivation? What was the point of their life? Could it be that cultivation was not to live with dignity but so that you could do whatever you wanted? What made Long Chen speechless was that there were even more shameless sect leaders who now went over to Li Xiangxuan, exchanging conversation with him. Some people even praised Long Chen for being so talented at such a young age. A strange smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Yes, he supposed he really was talented to have killed all their elite disciples. He turned away from them. These people might have smiles on their faces now, but Long Chen saw their killing intent and resentment clearer than anyone. These people simply swayed whichever way the wind blew, but they always left themselves a path out. Long Chen dared to guarantee that if Pill Valley rose and the Zhuangshan Dao sect was in an inferior position, their fake smiles would instantly transform into icy sneers. They wouldn't hesitate to raise their butcher's knife against the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Perhaps this was simply the cultivation world. It was full of fake, dislikable people. Liu Kang, the tower department head, and the elders were busy registering disciples, while Li Xiangxuan was busy conversing with the hypocritical sect leaders. Hu Jinying, the patriarch, and the old man didn't say anything. They just watched calmly. After these righteous experts were done with their fake congratulations, they departed. Some of the neutral camp's disciples also began to leave now. The battle today had ended, and it was time for them to leave. Due to various reasons, they didn't want to leave their sects. After all, no matter how bad a sect was, it was still their home. No one would want to leave their home. From a distance, Long Chen watched a group of women leave, appearing isolated and alone. Zi Yan led the elusive music Immortal Palace's disciples away. Although Long Chen hadn't looked at her, he knew that Zi Yan had been watching him the entire time. She had wanted to say something several times, but in the end, she had merely sighed and left, staring at Zi Yan's distant back. Even Long Chen didn't know what emotion he was feeling. In any case, he was feeling very unwell. Meng Chi held his hand. She softly said, You know. She's a good person, I know. Unfortunately, we're fated to be enemies, sighed Long Chen. This world was just too irritating. It had to force him to become someone that repaid kindness with enmity. Long Chen, I don't think you should stay in the eastern Xuan region any longer. Come with me to the central Xuan region. Once the outsiders had left, Hu Jinying, who had been silent for so long, suddenly opened her mouth. Chapter 1578 The Old Man's Secret Translator Born to be don't even think about it. Hu Jinying had just opened her mouth when the old man stood in opposition to her. Long Chen was a bit befuddled, not knowing what was going on. I was asking Long Chen, not you. Why are you so big-mouthed? demanded Hu Jinying. Long Chen is my family's child, so I get to decide, shouted the old man. 
stabbing the black staff into the ground. I can't be bothered with you, Long Chen. Do you want to come with me to the central Xuan region? That place is definitely a hundred times better than here. With me present, no one would dare to bully you. Not even Pill Valley or the Xuan beasts have those gods, said Ku Jinying, turning to Long Chen. Long Chen shook his head. Many thanks for your kind intentions, but I don't want to leave the eastern Xuan region for now. I also can't leave the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Novaloon.com Long Chen's words caused the old man's expression to improve slightly. On the other hand, Li Xiangxuan's expression was calm from start to end. He didn't seem worried at all. Are you a fool? The Zhuanshan Dao sect might be rising, and I've also made my warning, making it so people won't directly target you, but it's the hidden arrows that are hardest to block. Even if you aren't thinking of yourself, what about the people beside you? demanded Ku Jinying. Disappointed with his poor decision, Long Chen laughed. The cultivation path is one of no return. Ever since we chose to fight for the peak of the martial path, we began betting our lives against the heavens. If we didn't even have the courage to bet, how would we cultivate? The entire Dragonblood Legion thinks the same way. They've entrusted their lives to me, and my decision is their decision. Even if we fall on the struggle of the martial path, we will die together. We'll gather in the Yellow Springs and continue our fight from there. Long Chen's laughter was full of equanimity toward death and unstoppable drive that caused all the experts to be moved. Only a domineering person could say such domineering words. The old man and the seven bosses all smiled. This was how grand a man should act. You, you really are just like that old ghost. Raged Ku Jinying. Ha ha ha. My family's children all have this kind of temperament. What? You don't like it? laughed the old man as if he had won. Ku Jinying's angry expression suddenly transformed into a contemptuous smile. What does Long Chen's temperament have to do with you? He came from the eastern wasteland. I've never seen someone as shameless as you. It's like you think Long Chen's accomplishments are all thanks to you. People really grow more shameless as they grow old. Bullshit. The old man raged. Long Chen was just a brat in the eastern wasteland and he even killed one of my heaven-splitting battle sect's outer disciples. It was only thanks to my wisdom that we didn't pursue that and even cleaned up a batch of disciples that didn't fit our standards. We even gave him split the heavens. His accomplishments are definitely partially thanks to me. How am I shameless? The old man looked exceptionally infuriated. He was like a provoked lion, and even the veins on his forehead were bulging. The seven bosses simply shook their heads with a smile. Not surprised at all. Long Chen didn't comprehend at first, but when he thought of what the seventh boss had said to him, he realized what was happening. So that's what it was. Does getting angry about the truth have any use? If the Zhuanshan Dao sect hadn't arrived just now, you would either be dead or crippled. Don't you feel shame bragging so much? demanded Ku Jinying disdainfully. So what? Even if they hadn't come, I could have cut down Yu Ziaoyan's clone. Who would dare to look down on me? Snorted the old man. Long Chen was startled. The old man was actually so powerful that with his half-step nether passage cultivation base, he could still destroy Yu Ziaoyan's clone even when it was in possession of the Danite furnace? It seemed the ninth form of Split the Heavens had some kind of secret to it. To trade your true body with a clone. Have you grown muddled with age? Asked Ku Jinying coldly. I was willing to do it. Does that have anything to do with you? The old man didn't have the slightest air of a wise elder or a reserved elder. However, his current appearance did make him seem much younger. As the two of them exchanged words, more and more experts came to a realization. As long as they weren't a fool, anyone would be able to tell that Ku Jinying and the old man had some kind of relationship. Ku Jinying ignored the old man's reply and looked at Long Chen. Child, let me ask you. If your women grew stronger than you, what would you do? Would you get jealous of them? Long Chen was caught off guard by this question. Looking at Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er, he replied without any hesitation. If they were stronger than me, that would be the best. It would make me overjoyed. Why would I get jealous? Do you see that? That's called a man. HMPH. Not like some petty little person whose heart is narrower than a needle and doesn't like it when other people are stronger than him. 
Although Pu Jianying didn't directly bring up the old man, her meaning was already clear. When did I ever get jealous of you? What a joke. I've already comprehended life and death, and I'm just one step away from Nether Passage. Just wait. We're leaving. The old man waved his hand and then left. In his fury, he didn't even say goodbye. Boss Bao and the others hastily followed. Bao Buping and Chang Hao waved goodbye to Long Chen as they ran off as well. They knew the old man was angry and couldn't be further provoked. Long Chen shook his head. Clearly, the old man had some kind of relationship with the alliance head. From Pu Jianying's eyes, Long Chen saw a trace of remorse, but she still kept a cold smile on her face. That made Long Chen sigh. Even at such an age, they were still like children. Could they not grow up? Pu Jianying took a deep breath. Looking at Long Chen, she said, You're a good child, and a real man at that. Don't follow in that old ghost's footsteps and become so narrow-minded, looking down on women. For now, this matter is over. I have regained control of the Martial Heaven Alliance and cleaned up its interior. The Martial Heaven Alliance won't be in turmoil like before. Also, Pill Valley won't be able to find trouble for you temporarily and the corrupt path should cease their schemes as long as they have the slightest brains. As for the Xuan beasts, I will personally warn them. I doubt they would dare to touch you. Many thanks, senior. I've been tired just trying to keep up with them. I can finally take a break. Long Chen smiled. That smile truly contained some relief. Right after the battle of the spirit world where he had lost hundreds of his brothers, he had returned to the continent to find that the Zhuanshan Dao sect was destroyed and all sorts of rumors were spreading. He had been surrounded by enemies this entire time. You really are different from that old fellow. Even when he was young and filled with drive, he refused to ever admit when he was tired. Well, that's not important. Think of some way to give this to him, and do your best not to let him know that it's from me. Pu Jianying took out a jade case. This jade case was covered in black and white lines. When Long Chen touched it, his heart pounded. There was powerful life and death energy coming from the jade case. He felt like his soul was about to be pulled into it. This is some of my experience when entering the netherworld. Help me give it to that old ghost. However, if you tell him it's from me, he won't accept it. Pu Jianying shook her head helplessly. Long Chen promised. Don't worry, just leave it to me. I'll handle this. Pu Jianying smiled. I was rushing to come here today, so I don't have any gifts for you. Next time I'll have something ready. I have to go now. Things back at the headquarters are still in shambles. Be careful. Pu Jianying was saying goodbye to the patriarch and was about to leave when she suddenly let out a cold snort. She slashed her sword upward. A flash of sword light pierced the void, tearing open the sky. A vague figure could be seen for just a moment before it vanished. Bloodkill Hall. Listen well. If you dare to use seniors to attack juniors, then even if I have to flip through this whole world, I'll find you and erase you from existence shouted Pujianying. Everyone jumped in shock. None of them had even sensed someone. If it hadn't been for Pujianying, they wouldn't have even known that there was a terrifying assassin approaching. Long Chen also praised her inside. She was truly worthy of being the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance. She had actually sensed that assassin one step before him. His nine-star hegemon body art had only sensed the assassin the instant Pu Jianying had attacked. Long Chen, be careful of the Bloodkill Hall's people. They are like houseflies. They're everywhere. I heard that they've given rise to a divine emissary. And that divine emissary is the one who managed to receive the greatest divine blessing in all the Bloodkill Hall's history. Be careful, warned Pu Jianying. Yes, I'll be careful, Long Chen nodded. Only then did Pu Jianying return to her carriage. The nine wing killin eagle spread its wings and vanished from sight. All the various experts from various forces had now left, leaving behind only the Zhuanshan Dao sect's people. The current Zhuanshan Dao sect was in an unprecedented golden age. Countless top geniuses had joined them. They had definitely become the strongest sect in the eastern Xuan region. All the experts who had just joined were excited. On one hand, they had just joined the strongest sect in the eastern Xuan region, while on the other hand, they were now in the same sect as Long Chen. Long Chen was the eastern Xuan region's strongest monster. He slaughtered other heavenly geniuses without ever tasting defeat. 
To be able to say that they came from the same sect as him was definitely an honor. Li Xiangxuan looked at Long Chen. Long Chen immediately understood and loudly said, Brothers and sisters, welcome to the Zhuanshan Dao sect starting today. We are now one family. For now, let's not talk about anything else. After so much fierce fighting, my stomach's empty. Let's return to the sect to eat and drink. I, Long Chen, will offer all of you a toast to welcome you. Long Chen's wanton and relaxed style made these new disciples who had just joined feel even more excitement. Just as they were cheering, Long Chen pulled Xia Yanchong and Xia Yaoluo with him to the Dragonblood Legion. The reincarnation mirror activated, drawing them all inside. The Zhuanshan Tower and reincarnation mirror broke through space, vanishing, leaving behind only a desolate and empty battlefield. Chapter 1579 Huge Waves Translator Born to be the waves caused by the dragon slaughtering convention spread far and wide, going from the eastern Xuan region to the entire Martial Heaven continent. This dragon slaughtering convention, which was supposed to be a simple competition amongst the junior generation and shouldn't have caused any reaction at all, had ended up drawing in the majority of the eastern Xuan region sects, as well as three Nether Passage experts. Nether Passage experts were rare even within the entire continent. They were figures that could shake the continent. It wasn't just because they were so powerful themselves. Another reason was because Nether Passage experts could unleash the greatest power from divine items. They could cause irreparable damage to the very land. Nether Passage experts would rarely ever reveal themselves. However, three of them had now appeared at once. How could that not be shocking? Who would have thought that the Zhuanshan Dao sect? which had declined to the point that it had been about to be wiped out by the flow of time, would actually revive and give rise to a nether passage expert. The Zhuanshan Dao sect was like a lion that had been slumbering for countless years that had awoken with a roar to express that it was awake again, and no one could stop it. Even the Martial Heaven Alliance had been tidied up by Kujinying. The people that Pill Valley had snuck into the Alliance were all slain. She didn't give Pill Valley any face. Of the ones who were bribed by Pill Valley, those with heavy offenses were directly slain, while those with light offenses were told by Kujinying that she would see how they acted in the future. During this time, if they didn't act properly, they would be expelled. Kujinying's tidying of the Martial Heaven Alliance was quick as lightning. Her means were ruthless. At the same time, Kujinying sent a message to the corrupt path, ancient races, ancient family alliance, Bloodkill Hall and Xuan beasts. Any power, any expert that had wanted to challenge could do so as long as they were within the same realm. Even if they were to kill Long Chen, she wouldn't make a sound. However, if anyone were to bully him with a higher cultivation base or despicable means, then just like the dragon slaughtering convention, that person would have to face her fury. Her words were very domineering. She didn't say that they would have to face the Martial Heaven Alliance's fury. No. She said that they would have to face her fury. That was what made her words even more domineering. Like that, she wouldn't be restricted by her status as head of the Martial Heaven Alliance. In her eyes, even having to give up her position was worth it to beat people who offended her to death. The Zhuanshan Dao sect now had a nether passage expert, and had recruited tens of thousands of geniuses. They had become the strongest force in the eastern Xuan region. Furthermore, they had the support of the Martial Heaven Alliance's leader, while Long Chen was also closely connected to the Wine God Palace and the Huaian sect who could possibly find trouble for him now? If Long Chen didn't go find others for trouble, others would have to light incense in thanks. When it came to fame, within the Eastern Xuan region, no one, young or old, could compare to Long Chen, although there was no way to say that there wouldn't be someone more famous in the future. His level of fame was precedented. What caused even more waves was that Long Chen had cleared up the name of the spirit world, saying that they weren't traitors. It was the human race that owed a great debt to the spirit world. When he had said this, both Pu Jinying, the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance, and the old Xuan master of the Zhuanshan Dao sect had been present when he had said this, but neither of them had said anything. They had clearly given their tacit approval of his words. That sparked a huge debate in the Martial Heaven continent. Some people believed that Long Chen was intentionally lying to give himself a just reason for his actions. 
However, the majority disagreed with that view. History was unclear, but they had eyes, and they had personally witnessed Long Chen's character. Such a person would disdain lying. Although the name of the Dragon Slaughtering Convention ended up satirical with its conclusion, it had still been an inspiring fight. This had been a truly world-shaking fight, a battle of top heavenly geniuses. However, some people were unable to find inspiration from it, other than Pill Valley, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Races, the Ancient Family Alliance, and the Xuan Beasts. The ones who actually had it the worst off was the Grand Han Ancient Nation. Their capital had been destroyed. However, what was worse than that was that due to the collision of divine items, everything within 10,000 miles had become a land of death. Other than Celestials, no one else could approach that area, let alone ordinary people. Even Xi'anshan experts would be crushed by the pressure if they entered there. If it was just the ruined land, then that would be one thing. The Grand Han could also build a new capital. However, what caused the Grand Han to despair was that somehow, someone had set up a formation in the capital that had sucked up the majority of their dragon vein energy to power the barrier. Originally, Sha Guangyan had promised that this barrier would be used at a critical moment to capture Long Chen. It was supposed to be a small formation. However, this small formation had become a peerless giant formation that had sucked away the Grand Han's Dragon Vein energy. This so-called Dragon Vein energy was similar to a sect's heaven and earth divine spring. It was condensed of karmic luck. Without the protection of their Dragon Vein, the Grand Han was in danger of crumbling at any moment. Noveloon.com If the Grand Han could gather the hearts of the commoners, they could rebuild a capital and construct a formation. In a hundred thousand years, they might be able to give birth to a new dragon vein. However, in order to curry favor with Pill Valley, the Grand Han had provoked the disgust of the commoners, even giving their capital to Pill Valley. Originally, the plan was to use Pill Valley's power to execute Long Chen, and then gain powerful helpers to devour the Grand Xia, Grand Zhou, and Grand Chu. The commoners were driven away, and the formation was constructed all for Pill Valley. However, Rather than currying favor, their plan exploded in their faces. Their dragon vein was destroyed. Even the secular world, that signified that this dynasty had reached its end. The Grand Han's imperial family had never treated their commoners particularly well. They only cared about themselves. As for the commoners, their requirements weren't very high. They just wanted a place where they could live in peace, away from fighting and killing. However, not caring about that. The Imperial family had still tried to use Pill Valley to devour the other ancient nations. However, now Pill Valley was investigating just who had sneak attacked the Zhuanshan Dao sect and had no time to bother with them. Furthermore, the Grand Han had lost its value to them. Pill Valley kicked them aside mercilessly. Politics were just that heartless even the commoners could clearly see Pill Valley's indifference towards them. However, the Imperial family was lost in the stories and legends that they themselves had constructed, resulting in them thinking that they could use Pill Valley to unite the four nations and dominate the land. As the news of the Dragon Slaughtering Convention spread, countless commoners began to migrate from the Grand Han to the Grand Xia, Grand Zhou, and Grand Chu. They had lost hope in their nation. Not only had they lost their dragon vein, their arrogant provocation of the other three nations when backed by Pill Valley would definitely result in those three nations now unleashing their anger on them. Furthermore, considering Long Chen's relationship with the Grand Xia, the results were clear. In the eyes of the commoners, the Grand Han's imperial family had been too disappointing. On the other hand, the Grand Xia's imperial family had actually endured the Grand Han's constant provocations to keep their commoners safe. That made them want to move even more furthermore. The Grand Xia, Grand Zhou, and Grand Chu all gave the new immigrants a new space in their territory, making them endlessly grateful. This was the style of a real grand nation. Rather than targeting the innocent commoners, they knew that their real enemy was only the Grand Han's imperial family. More and more people left the Grand Han. There were also some people who didn't want to leave who rose in revolt. Groups of experts began to gather in various locations, forming their own revolutionary parties who wanted to overthrow the current imperial family. The Grand Han was thrown into chaos. 
Even without the other three ancient nations doing anything, the imperial family was already viewed as the enemy of the Grand Han. Some parts of the imperial family's army also switched sides at the last minute. In the end, the Grand Han's imperial family was overthrown in less than a month. When the imperial family's heads were cut down, they were shown as a symbol to the people. Their bodies were also ripped apart by the Five Horse Punishment. Although the imperial family had been overthrown, the various powerful revolutionary parties all wanted to take the throne, resulting in another huge internal battle that lasted three years. When the new ruler was established, the Grand Han had been fighting internally for so long that its core was badly damaged. It no longer had the power to revive itself. It lost the qualifications to challenge the other three ancient nations. Going back in time, Long Chen and the others finally returned to the Zhuanshan Dao sex land. When they saw the desolate battlefield, quite a few disciples became gloomy. Some even began to cry, holding back their sobs. Although Li Xiangxuan had reacted quickly at that time, the outer region of the Zhuanshan Dao sect which belonged to the workers and commoners had been destroyed in the first instant by the attacks of multiple divine items. Many of the outer sect disciples that had survived came from that region of the commoners. Their families had been there, seeing the battlefield. They were full of pain and hatred. All right, don't cry. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen already got revenge for us. I'm sure they'll be able to rest in peace in the Yellow Springs. What we need to do is properly cultivate and defeat anyone who dares to provoke us just like senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Comforted someone. As people comforted them, their mournful expressions improved slightly. Suddenly, the sky shook. Everyone hastily looked up. A huge mountain landed on the ground. That was the Zhuanshan Dao sect's main peak. It had been collected by the Zhuanshan Tower. The main peak had the founder's statue, and they could not allow it to be damaged. Once the main peak fell, divine light flowed through it. It was possible to see visible fluctuations flowing towards the statue. Li Xiangxuan smiled with gratification. Those fluctuations were karmic luck. There was an incredible amount of heaven and earth divine spring currently condensing. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's rise was unstoppable. The old Xuan master looked at that divine light flowing across the statue. The statue seemed to be blossoming with life. He sighed. Now that I look back, it seems I was always wrong. Xiangxuan, I should have given the Zhuanshan Dao sect to you sooner. Master, this was all faded. It has nothing to do with you or me. Long Chen was the main point, said Li Xiangxuan. They both looked at Long Chen. The Dragonblood Legion had already set up a huge wine table. Long Chen was already starting a celebration with all the disciples. Chapter 1580 Wilds Transformation Translator Born to be the celebration was just a simple one. After all, Celebrating now wasn't very suitable because the Zhuanshan Dao sect had no walls. Other than the main peak, the surroundings were desolate, and it wasn't very comfortable. Long Chen also only intended to do this as a formality. After all, many of the disciples that had joined had joined because of him. He drank a bowl of wine with every disciple, agreeing to have a proper celebration once the sect was rebuilt. To be able to drink wine and even personally touch bowls to Long Chen made these disciples extremely moved. After drinking a bowl with every disciple, he had Guo Ran take his place. Guo Ran liked showing off and being the center of attention the most. Fortunately, this wine was ordinary wine, or Guo Ran would have collapsed from drinking all of it. Long Chen returned to the Zhuanshan Tower and could see the other elders busily working. The tower department head was in the midst of designing the rebuilding plan of the Zhuanshan Dao sect as for the old Xuan master and Li Xiangxuan. They were sitting in front of the Zhuanshan tower, drinking some tea, looking at the disciples celebrating down below. They were filled with emotion. After recruiting a large batch of disciples, any sect would have trouble managing them. That was because each genius thought highly of themselves. That resulted in a competition between them once they joined the sect to see who was really the strongest. They all wanted that position. Practically, all sects would let them fight amongst themselves. That made it easier for them to see the potential and specialties of their disciples. Some sects would even encourage this fighting. However, in a fight against tigers, there would have to be injuries. If there were too many, 
things would grow out of control. If this many geniuses joined any other sect, they would definitely fight day and night. However, they were all obedient upon joining the Zhuanshan Dao sect they were even humble and amicable. That wasn't because their characters were simply like that, but because the Zhuanshan Dao sect had a monster like Long Chen. Any genius would lose their qualifications to be arrogant in front of Long Chen. So seeing Long Chen personally welcoming them, taking the initiative to drink with them without the slightest arrogance or airs, they would be idiots if they dared to be arrogant. If even such a figure wasn't arrogant, then they couldn't be. So even though this many geniuses had joined at once, the Zhuanshan Dao sect wasn't thrown into chaos at all. Everything was being done peacefully. Come and sit. You must be tired. Have some tea. Li Xiang Xuan indicated for Long Chen to sit, grabbing the teapot. However, Long Chen was one step faster, taking the teapot and filling the old Xuan master and Li Xiang Xuan's cups first before pouring his own. The tea was emerald green and a bit thick, but it had no fragrance. It was a top grade tea, with all its flavor concentrated within. Long Chen drank a mouthful, but he didn't know anything about tea so he didn't feel anything in particular. I feel like an unlucky star. Wherever I go, things get thrown into chaos. It was the same in the Eastern Wastelands branch sect. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Back then, the Eastern Wastelands branch sect had also been destroyed because of him. He had spent a huge sum to rebuild it. Now that he had come to the Central Plains, it was just a few years before he caused even the main sect to be destroyed. This bad luck seemed to strike everyone around him. You can't put it that way. Until the end, no one can tell whether something is good or bad. All you see is part of the process, not necessarily the result. Comforted Li Xiang Xuan. He knew more about Long Chen's situation than anyone else. However, there were some things that he definitely couldn't tell Long Chen. However, every time he thought of the final ending of all heaven defiers, Li Xiang Xuan felt pain. There was nothing he could do about that. People cultivated to do as they pleased. They would rather be a firework exploding with light than a sad speck of dust. Xuan Master, has Wild awoken? Asked Long Chen suddenly. He was very curious why he didn't see Wild anywhere. Ah, that's right. Come with me. Li Xiang Xuan led Long Chen and the old Xuan Master into the Zhuanshan Tower. Wild was sleeping inside a pool. This pool was originally composed of the Aldeville monster's essence blood, but it had now been fully absorbed by Wild. Wild had grown even larger now. He had surpassed 6 meters in height and was even larger than Hu Shaolin. His entire body was now covered in silver lines. They looked like thousands of silver serpents swimming across his body. Those lines seemed to be alive. What shocked Long Chen the most was that Wild now had two horns on his head that were bent slightly like a bull's. Rather than pointing outward, they pointed upward. Wild's mouth was bulging slightly, and two fangs were protruding out of it. Wild no longer looked simple and pure like before. He looked like a giant monster. What's going on? Long Chen was shocked, almost unable to believe that this was wild. The old Xuan master said, The barbarian race exists only in legend. They have many sub-races, but there aren't any detailed records of what those are. No one can say for sure what's going on with Wild. However, Long Chen, you have to be careful. If you can't control Wild, he will. The old Xuan master closed his mouth at that point. His meaning was clear. Perhaps once Wild awoke, he would no longer be the old Wild. That won't happen. Wild will always be Wild. You'll know once he's awake. Long Chen shook his head confidently. Long Chen tried to touch Wild. But just as his hand touched the silver lines, they seemed to grow angry and gather together, forcing his hand back. These lines seemed to have their own life. The curious thing is they refuse others to see what's going on, said Li Xiang Xuan. He had also tried to investigate what was happening with Wild, but had been refused by the silver lines. It's fine. Wild slowly awakening. It shouldn't be too long now. Long Chen smiled slightly. No matter what appearance Wilde took, he would always be his brother. This was something he was absolutely confident in. The old Xuan master and Li Xiang Xuan didn't say anything. They walked out of the Zhuanshan Tower. Just at that moment, an elder ran over, reporting to the patriarch and the Xuan master. 
Someone sent a letter, saying it's for Long Chen. Oh? Who was it? Asked Long Chen. They already left. It was a young man. I couldn't see through his cultivation base, replied the elder. Long Chen was curious. Who would send him a letter without revealing their identity? He opened the letter, seeing a blueprint inside. What is this? Long Chen was dumbfounded by the mess of lines he saw. It's a formation diagram, exclaimed Li Xiangxuan. Long Chen knew nothing about formations, but Li Xiangxuan was more erudite. He immediately identified it as a formation diagram. Oh? Xia Chen? So it was him. Seeing a name written on it, Long Chen came to an understanding. It was no wonder this formation had come so suddenly. It seemed everything had been done by Xia Chen. Long Chen had heard of him. After the Battle of the Four Nations Ancient Remnant, there was an expert who had gone to get revenge against the Grand Han. He had killed most members of the Imperial family and even used a terrifying formation to escape. At that time, Xia Chen's name had shaken the Grand Han. Xia Yuyang had said that Xia Chen came from a branch of the Xia family and had some of the Imperial family's bloodline. Long Chen thought of what had happened with the sudden barrier that had appeared during the Dragon Slaughtering Convention. He recalled Pen Wancheng's surprised shouting. Pen Wancheng had died in the chaos. It seemed he had been killed by Lu Ruian. But when Long Chen asked her about it, she ignored him. However, Pen Wancheng had revealed that the formation had been laid down by a formation expert Sha Guangyan had invited. Now that he thought about it, that formation expert was most likely Xia Chen. Xia Chen truly was a genius. Last time, he had almost eliminated the Grand Han's imperial family, leaving behind only two life star experts that had tried to kill him. Perhaps it was because of that loss that the two remaining experts had summoned back the outer members of the imperial family and started to act so crazy. Last time, Xia Chen had given them a heavy blow. This time, Xia Chen had used some unknown method to win Sha Guangyan's trust and establish such a huge formation that sucked away all the Grand Han's dragon vein energy. It was no wonder that the barrier had been able to block the attacks of divine items. It actually had such a high cost. That cost had been paid by the Grand Han. Now, Xia Chen had sent someone with this formation diagram. He clearly wanted to help Long Chen. Xuan Master, how is this formation? asked Long Chen. Li Xiangxuan and the old Xuan Master were silent for a long time as they examined the formation diagram. In the end, they both shook their heads. Li Xiangxuan sighed. This formation seems to be an ancient formation capable of both great offense and defense. The most powerful aspect of it is that its core can actually be a divine item. If that divine item was used to control the formation, its power would be unimaginable. However, the cost of it is also terrifying. With our current wealth and manpower, even if we were to bankrupt ourselves, we would only be able to construct a hundredth of this formation that, that's a ridiculous cost exclaimed Long Chen. Just at this moment, an elder came with another report. Xuan Master, Pill Valley has sent an envoy that wishes to see you. Nice. Someone's come to give us money. Xuan Master, leave this to me. Long Chen's eyes brightened, and he smiled mischievously. 